Welcome back to our GURPS Hammer campaign. I am Rigel, your super sleepy GM for tonight's session. This campaign will be utilizing the GURPS rule set, but is set in the Empire of Man setting found in the Warhammer Fantasy role playing setting. Also, Warhammer Fantasy Battles and Total War and all that jazz. In addition to our live streams on Twitch, this and all future sessions will also be available on YouTube and as auto only podcasts. So try to remember what you are try to actually say out loud what you rolled. Links will be found in the descriptions. FX engineer, I need a roll for your secret into the skull. And do you have any character business for Kristoff? Hello, hello. Um, no character business. I'm trying to save up my points if he lives that long. <laughs> he, uh, I will roll here shortly. All right. Nosh, do you have any character business for Enfys? I do not. Cool, cool. I currently do not need a roll for your enemy, uh, but I will let you know when I do. Gigerman, do you have any character business for Yorg? Negative on Yorg business. All right. Mel, do you have any character business for Copper Tom? Nope. Uh, do you need a Kletz roll? Uh, let's see. That is once per day. I yep. think not yet because you rolled that one, the previous one, duh. So that, that day hasn't officially ended yet. Okay, good deal. And Ronky has already rolled his secret into the skull. Does he have any, do you have any character business for Soren? Uh, possibly. How many sessions do you expect the, uh, the rest of this run to be? Approximate, doesn't, uh, doesn't have to be exact. I don't know. At least another? Yes. Five? Maybe. Maybe more. Depends on you guys. Okay. Because I, I screwed up and front-loaded some stuff. I mean, I'm just now getting into the adventure proper. Uh, okay. In that case, I will save my points for now. So, no character business. All right. Cool, cool. Um, so, last week, since uh, Christoph was not here... Uh, I'm not sure how caught up he is, but it was the last stage of the trip from uh, Ubersreich to Bogenhofen. And you encountered a mutant in the woods and then got into a fight with a bunch of dudes, including one who very nearly killed uh, Copper Tong, except that size mod thing came back and saved her butt once more. But he was casting evil spells and after him and all the others are dead uh, you discovered that this fellow looked an awful lot like Soren and inside his gear, his clothes whatever was a letter uh, that basically uh, declared that the dead guy is a uh, the last heir of a baronet and to claim this mighty wealth of like, what was it? 20,000? Yeah, 20,000 gold crowns uh, and the title of baronet uh, had to present the letter and another thing that uh, that I didn't uh, pull up, but uh, I had to present that at a lawyer's uh, in Bogenhofen. And Soren was enthusiastic about the money. As I recall, Copper Tongue was less enthusiastic about the whole thing. Uh, 
Soren was uh, contemplating the possibility that he has a long lost brother or had. Had. Since Until Soren was a. Uh, horribly disfigured him. Yeah, well, got to do what you got to do. And I guess you got to horribly disfigure your brother, potential brother. He didn't need that face anymore. And as we ended uh, the previous session, um, you actually did, in fact, arrive at Bogenhofen. The so, two... so, so, so sorry, can I ask, just to understand, um, so this guy, Castor, you guys, he died or you killed him. Well, in, in fairness, they attacked them first. <laughs> but, uh, okay. And then you found that letter on his person. So it seemed like that letter was addressed to him. So he appears to be an inheritor of some lots of money. That is correct. It, is he related to Soren? Soren, do you know? Soren's an orphan. An orphan of the same place? I think Bogenhofen is where... Soren grew up? Yes. Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to read the print on the letters. Um Yeah, it is it is tough. Uh where is my thing? I can hold on. Thinking that he didn't have, I should have He has to pick up that money somewhere. I'm assuming yeah, that's yeah, what we're on the way to do. Well you uh <laughs> If you recall, you guys were taking uh, the or escorting the two drivers, uh, Gunnar and Holtz, with a wagon load of stuffs to Bogenhofen. So everybody's like, oh, that's convenient. We want to go there and claim a whole bunch of money. As well, you technically, do. it'd be Soren's money. But. Until yeah. he, you know, somebody shanks him in the back and, you know, <laughs> steals it. Okay. He's, He's so and greedy. I... No, he's not greedy, but... Um... Tong has it, but that's a racial thing uh, or a dwarf thing. I thought somebody else had it, but I don't actually the last time I looked I didn't actually see anybody else having it. Yeah, Soren doesn't have greedy, but yeah, this is twenty thousand crowns. He's happy to share it. As long as everyone else backs up the backs up the claim. If if I was your best friend before, I'm your best friend now. Mm -hmm. Do uh <laughs> So this is inheriting a baronet. Is that an actual um, title? Or are we just talking about the land? Uh, well, whatever. You're not sure. It depends on... Uh, you'd have to talk to the, the, the people. I am actually holding on doing a... I'm, uh, I'm looking at the, the letter. It says you get the, deed. you get the deeds to a manor. You'll have the title. Responsibilities associated with owning that. Okay. It did it, it actually say title in there that you would get it. Uh, we shall be pleased to place into your hands the title. Title deeds. Actual translation. Oh, here you go. Which is, granted, much easier to read, but it isn't as cool looking. So you need a signed and twofold witness affidavit. I'm happy to sign. Uh, oh, we've already got that. Had that. Uh, I just didn't pull it up. That was... Uh... There it is. You should have linked both of those onto that inheritance doc. That's uh, not a terrible idea. Wow, you had a you had a good idea. Congratulations, Guild Master, Guild of Merchants, Priestess, Temple of Stigmar, 
wow, this guy knew some fancy people. Right, I put the hand up yeah. there. Did it actually Bye. immediately show or do I need to share it again? Well, let's share. There. Cool, cool. Okay, so quick question. The yep. player does not know the laws in this universe. So Queen has honesty, which means that she's okay with lying as long as it's not breaking a law. So would this whole scheme be breaking a law? Oh, yeah. Probably. He would be impersonating someone who is about to inherit a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's probably illegal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Queen Queen's not going to go for this. Sorry. <laughs> She's going to totally turn you in. Uh huh. Well, but uh, Queen could also make the case that uh, she has conflicting disheads. I would say if she's greedy, she might be willing to be dishonest on this one instance for a large sum of gold. I figure they might at least neutralize each other. She would be trying to find a way to. Um, get the wealth and also be honest at the same time. That is something we've run into before, and I don't think we ever actually uh, came up with a, a workable solution, that being uh, conflicting disheads. Yeah, I can always make a roll for them, and we can go off the dice and see which one wins out. Or you could take the point value, which one has the greatest sway over you mm, yeah, they're, but they're they're both the same um no i was gonna say she doesn't have to do anything yet so yeah she'll be stewing on this though she she will definitely not look happy as soren actually is. they're not looks like greed is 15 and honesty is 10. oh you mean point value or i was thinking roll level oh yeah Cool, yeah, 12 or less. Yeah, because that, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, the same thing. Well, honesty, I don't think it has a self-control role. Mm, this one on the yes, sheet does. does. Honesty's always had a self-control role. Okay. I thought it was one of those things like Code of Honor. No, truthfulness uh, is the one that doesn't. Yeah, it's make a self-control role when faced with the need to break unreasonable laws. But then so afterwards, you... you'll still turn yourself in or something like that? Well, if you fail, you have to obey the law, whatever the consequence is. If well, there you, you go. resist your so... urges and break the law, you have to make another one after that. And then if you fail that, you have to turn yourself in. Well, I mean, well, you're not breaking you any laws. Un... You said unreasonable. Of course, you know, 20,000... Gold is not unreasonable. <laughs> and you're not breaking any laws. It's it's CERN that's gonna swing if this doesn't work. This is this is Warhammer fantasy. If it doesn't work, you're all gonna swing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like guilty by proxy. Yep. So anyway, I won't make any rules yet, but um, yeah, you may want to. She could just like wash your hands of it once you get into Bogan and go, so, nope, you go do what you got to do. I'm going to go over here and not get involved. Yep. Sir and so turns. I'm not going to be talking to a, a town watch guy. Sir and turns to the, the rest of the group and does the whole slit her throat gesture. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't do that. Not where queen, she can see. Yeah, queen, queen has things that she can go busy herself with in a big city, so. Well, technically it's just a town, but it is a big town. Okay. How long is it going to uh, take us to get there? All right. To get where? Bogenhofen? Yeah. 
you One arrived minute. at Bogenhofen uh, last night. That's what. Oh, that's the, right. Uh, or not last night, but you know, just now. And you know, the, the sun is clearly going down. It's fairly late in the day, uh, so you know, it's a. It, honestly, you'll you'll probably end up needing to do that tomorrow because, well, they're lawyers. They're not going to be burning the midnight oil. Is there any official, you know, records like births, deaths, registered orphans? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, possibly, uh, you may be able to find that sort of. If if there is that that sort of thing, it would probably be at the uh, Temple of Verena, who is basically like you know, it's like a library. I don't recall when Cern was orphaned. Um, was he like dropped off at the steps of an orphanage? I don't know. Was he? It's that 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 stuff is kind of left uh, fairly open. I'll, I'll let the, uh, the the players decide. How young was he? I'm just reading his biography. Yeah, I think it just says he was a, he was an orphan, so it's entirely up to the up to the player. Um, so he would have been a kid. How about we let the dice decide? One d twelve. It's curbs. You'd want to use d sixes. Yeah, but if you use d sixes, that will only give you from ages one to six. Two to six. Two to twelve. Yeah, but then you've got a, you've got a bell curve. Uh, let's do it like this. I'll roll a d ten. Yeah, don't be a dietist. So he was 10. So I guess he would have some knowledge of his parents. Okay. So Soren has knowledge of his parents and I'm guessing to keep it in line with the story, his parents have nothing to do with this estate. Okay. Assuming that's what the, the story implies. So, uh, yeah, so you have arrived of course uh, he knows. at the gates of Bogenhofen. Um, it's fairly late in the day. The sun's already going down. Uh, but the lead driver, uh, Gunnar, uh, he's pretty damned eager to get rid of all this junk in there. So uh, he and Holtz have a quick... Quick argument um, while they are waiting to be allowed uh, into the city. You will notice there, there's a pretty, pretty, a pretty sizable bit of traffic coming in here. Uh, you know, most of it's on foot, but there are people on horseback. There's coaches. There, there are other wagons. Uh, but then they are setting up for the uh, Schaffenfest next week, which is like one of the biggest. Uh, festivals in you know, the the whole of the Reichland, but uh, their, their their argument is about whether they go directly to the inn uh, and then you know try to offload the stuff tomorrow, or go straight to you know the the, the bloody Steinhagers uh, first. And Hulk, our Gunnar is like, yeah, we 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 need to get get rid of get get the stuff, you know, offloaded, and you know they'll they'll be open. Uh, they're always bloody open, and uh, besides, it's on the way. Um, those of you who are from Bogenhofen, which I believe is Jorg and Soren, will know. Yes, it's definitely closer uh, as you are coming in through through this gate to just go to the Steinhagers. At the gate, the uh, the board watch personnel they go over the the wagons, you know, you know, lift up, 
uh, it's not open up some of the stuff, you know, they're, they're the eye, the PCs, they, they check, you know, just doing the, their usual stuff. Uh, one of them does sort of like, you know, give Soren a second look, like, do I know this guy? Uh, which, you know, he seems to remember, seems to have happened to him before, relatively recently. Uh, but then they, uh, the, the, the leader uh, of these guys, they, they, they gesture uh, and a young man who's, you know, he, he's yawning. He's clearly doesn't want to be here either. But uh, his clothes are better than average. Uh, definitely. He's not wearing the, uh, the, the standard, uh, the standard watch gear, which I totally spun up a thing for the, you using, uh, what is that? Damn it, Hero Hero Forge. I think it's yeah. Hero Forge, yeah. Um, did the, you add the uh, crest? I did. I couldn't. You know, you couldn't get the the crest. Uh, they 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 have some crests, but they're kind of garbage. So I cheated and you know added it myself after I was done. <laughs> Um, so the, uh, young man comes up there. He's got like a checklist that he's checking over and he's asking, uh, Gunnar and Holt some questions like, you know, are, are you natives of the town or are you members of the, the, the merchant's guild? What are you carrying? Uh, where, where is this going? Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and they, uh, he, he finally, um, comes to an end. It's like, okay, that's going to come to four crowns a piece, uh, for, one crown per pack animal, one two crowns per uh, uh, cart or wagon bearing merchandise. Holy shit! Gunnar is like grimacing. He's like, "Woo, everything's gone up a bit." And bureaucrat, you know, he sort of shrugs. He's like, you know, gestures in the direction of where the the, the Schaffenfest is being set up. And he's like, "Yep, well, there's that." And uh, you're lucky. Town council's been making some noises about taxing the bodyguards as well. Uh, but uh, and with that, he just sort of nods in well everybody else's direction. It's like, uh, but uh, the four families they they just they said nope, rejected that right out of hand. Um, Gunnar, you know, grudgingly hands over the money, um, and the guy puts it into a metal box, which Copper Tong will immediately recognize as it's just like a generic money chain dwarfish money changer, which is designed so breaking into that without the proper key is really, really hard, which Soren may or may not know from, from experience. The bureaucrat then gives them a receipt that he's like sort of stamped, and he's like, uh, don't lose that. And then you are allowed to enter into the town. This is the Bogenhofen map. Um, I have gone ahead and shared it because it occurred to me that Georg and Soren are from here. So they're going to know what all of these places are, or where everything is at and such like that. So uh, you are coming in from he down here. Uh, so two and the Steinhager offices is the S. How convenient. Yep. But inside the gate, they they almost resume their their, their argument. But Gunnar's like, so let's just get this crap taken care of. And Holt is like, yeah, okay. And clearly, Holt was just wanting to go get some drinks. The uh, so um, when you get there, the office is still open, uh, even though it's everything else in this particular area seems to be like closing down for the evening. Um, and you know, as soon as, as soon as you you see that it's that it's still open, Holt is like, of course it is. Uh, and Gunnar is going to. She's like, all right, stay here, keep an eye on the stuff. Halt, we need to go in and, you know, report this. And so they they enter. And while you are outside waiting, Kristoff, you will hear someone call out your name. And it's a little bit of a surprise. 
Who is it? I turn around. And an older man, uh, which you recognize as Yosef. Uh, he's like a former employer. He's like a boat captain. Uh, he's like he was like sort of an unofficial uncle of your uh, of your family uh, back before the to the dark days and the unfortunate times. Uh, he, he he comes over there. He's like, well, what? It's wonderful to see you. What are you doing here? Okay, so I had, I had a good relationship with him. Yeah, he was you know pretty unofficial uncle. He was he was he was probably the guy who you know introduced you to beer. Okay. Well, oh, surprised to see you, Uncle. Well, yeah, just delivering like, some cargoes here to these very fine, upstanding gentlemen inside. And uh, who may that be? Oh, the Steinhagers. Oh, are they the, the owners of the establishment? Yeah, one of the uh, they're they're one of the the four big merchant families here. Yeah, they're they're who we're delivering to. Oh, okay. No. Well, I guess uh, know that I like to be alone, but I don't mind sharing a drink with with the family if, if I can invite you to a drink. Hey, or... No, absolutely. You... I've already got a place down um, by the uh, docks, uh, boatman in. Maybe, uh, maybe we can uh, you know get together, catch up, share a couple pints. Okay, that sounds good. I um, I don't know how long we have business here. I don't know how long we'll be, but I will look you up before we leave. Well, yeah, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be here. I've got a dispute with uh, their. Their pay. And he's like clearly wanting to say some stuff, you know, to snap about you know these these jackasses possibly, but definitely watching what he says. Well, surely huh. you want to stay for Chuffenfest. Well, maybe. They've only got all the beers, all of them. Mm, yes, that would be. I know. I mean, I brought some of it here. And then he's like, oh, up, really? up. And they're like, hey, yeah. And he's like, you know, his name is called. And he's like, oh, well, remember, Boatman's in. If I don't catch you uh, before, uh, before I get out of this. You know, I'm a licensed beer inspector, by the way. I could give that a, a quick, uh, a quick review. I've got my license in my other pants somewhere. <laughs> Feel free to bring your friends. <laughs> They're funny. And you know, then then he goes in, uh, and it's it's a bit. Uh, it's probably a solid uh, 30, 45 minutes before Gunnar and Holtz uh, emerge, and neither of them look particularly happy They're like, okay we got to take the these uh over to some some warehouses uh on, on the docks and that takes you uh that will lead over into well the docks um so it takes about 10 minutes or so to get to the the warehouse simply due to the traffic even though it is late at night there's plenty of taverns and all that jazz that are you know in, in the area plus you've got people coming in from all over getting prepared um and there is already a night watchman on duty at the uh at the warehouse and he's like you know immediately sort of holds up the hands like whoa whoa hold on who are you what are you doing here gunnar explains he's like all right well uh you know when the uh, the red cloaks are going to show up, and like, nope, gotta wait. And then it's another fifteen minutes or so uh, before a group, but four. They're 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 pretty pretty large guys, uh, but they are wearing oddly enough really bright bright red cloaks. 
The two Bogenhofen natives, uh, Jorg and Soren, will recognize that this identifies them as members of the Teamsters Guild. The the, the watchman sort of you know uh, greets them, you know, jokes he hasn't seen any uh, uh, red or orange hats around, uh, which which causes them to to sneer. Once again, Jorg and Soren are going to be at least familiar, uh, aware that the Teamsters and the Stevedores Guild are constantly at odds. And the Stevedores, they're the dock workers. Uh, they basically, you know, handle, they're, they're, they're basically like a bunch of small gangs and they like wear uh, different colored straw hats for uh, uh, per gang and each one of them like specializes in like, you know, porting a different kind of stock. He who controls the docks controls the universe. Well, the Teamsters control... Basically, the, the reason the two are at, at odds is because both of them want to be in control of offloading cargoes, whether it's from the docks or from wagons. But currently, the stevedores are the only ones that offload stuff from the from boats, and the Teamsters are the only ones that offload stuff from wagons. That would seem a bit more efficient if they were both the same organization, wouldn't it? Well, you know how it goes. Those wacky guilds. So the uh, the Teamsters, they just sort of lounge around, waiting, smoking, and everybody's like, uh, and uh, Gunnar will explain to you guys that you, he, he's got to wait for uh, for the, the clerk to finally show up because the clerk has to sign off on all this garbage. And he's like, yeah, this is why he wanted to get it done now because he, you know, he's he has literally come here before and spent all day waiting at the uh, at, at the warehouse. And based off of some Bogenhofen bylaws, he can't offload anything. And oh, by the way, you guys are none of you guys are going to be helping the Teamsters. They will get visibly angry. Also, there are laws against that too. You're not members of the uh, the guild, so. But uh, another 15, maybe 20 minutes or so, the uh, a clerk finally shows up in a uh, small carriage. Uh, he gets out and, you know, brushes some, some dust off of himself and comes up there. And he's got, like, you know, uh, an actual manifest. And, the you know, he starts going off of the uh, – or checking against everything. Um, and I don't remember if I – stated what uh was in the the wagons other than you know they had goods um, i don't think you but, did yeah it's it's mostly metal stuff uh because the way the um the way the uh, da, 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 i gotta find it again really quick um Yeah, there it is. Uh, Steinhager, they are principally con they, uh, the distribution of goods from, they concentrate mainly on the distribution of goods from Altdorf, Altdorf, uh, Nolm, and Marienburg, which are mostly to the north, uh, although Nolm is to the southeast. Uh, but those, uh, those are the actual cities, cities. Uh, but they, they concentrate on goods from there to the communities along the edges of the Great Mountains, which, you know, the south, you guys are rumbling around in there, uh, in exchange for furs, metals, and other produce. So it is basically like furs and uh, uh, ingots of metal and such like that. Um, so it, uh, you know, he, he's checking off the, 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 uh, the, the clerk checking off the, the, the stuff and consulting the, the manifest while the Teamster guys are like, you know, lifting this box and carrying it over there and into the into the uh, uh, warehouse and such like that. Um, and it's really, really boring for you because it's like you got to just basically sit there and do nothing while these dudes are doing all the work. Um, 
eventually uh the the stuff is offloaded the clerk is uh, a little irritated uh maybe uh maybe sad uh, dismayed whatever that uh nothing seems to have fallen off the uh the wagon and granted it's you know it, it, these are big boxes of metal well, what are you going to do um and the uh by the time it is done the sun is long since uh gone down and he hands each of the uh teamsters an iron chit that is about the the size of a coin uh but it's like square uh, it has you know uh the steinhager logo mostly stamped on it and i meant to share that so that's the four major merchant houses so it's the the barrel with the the s uh they accept and happily and then they depart and he makes some notes on the the manifest and then he has gunnar compare what he wrote on his manifest and then he signs it and he says he informs gunnar that he is to present his manifest to the merchant house tomorrow for payment in full and then the guy departs leaving behind a couple of empty wagons and gunnar is like i sometimes hate this town well all right um how much uh i think i owe you gentlemen and dwarf some final monies uh i believe it was nine shillings i believe that is correct and he will pull the nine shillings out uh you know for for, for each of you out of the uh the he's got like a lockbox thing that has gotten really really light and there's not a lot left in uh-huh. there he's like oh. it's like well i definitely appreciate your your assistance um no idea when we're heading back uh steinhager was saying that they want to possibly send some more cargo down to uh uber's right but Schaffenfest is going to start in a week so me it looks like me and Holtz may end up being forced to stay here for uh until that's done well if you're still here i will personally invite you and escort you into Schaffenfest and get you properly plastered <laughs> so noted um, so everybody will uh, get, increase their individual wealth by nine shillings. And he will uh, he will remind you, it's like, yeah, if you don't have, uh, don't already have rooms somewhere, you'll probably want to get them quickly because all these people are coming into town and we're going to be staying. Uh, uh, Hans, uh, ah, Holtz and I uh, over at the uh, Journey's End, presuming we can actually get uh, get rooms. But yeah, he will shake your hands, uh, and Holtz will as well, and wish you guys uh, good luck. Catch you later. Unless you wish to go to the uh, go along to the ends with him, I see no reason why we shouldn't. We do need to find places to stay, right? Yep. Um, at least for Kristoff, the Boatman's Inn is probably going to be on this uh, where closer to where you're at. You guys are probably like you know here, you know, down in this area with the. Uh, the, the warehouses and there are inns scattered all along that inns and tap mostly taverns scattered along all all there uh down there for the uh the, the people who get off the boats and decide you know what i do not want to sleep on my boat tonight but the uh so the boatman's inn is probably somewhere down uh on yeah. Well, on this side, where roughly where you're at, but based off of uh, Jorg and Soren's 
knowledge of the uh, the town, the Journey's End. Journey's End is over here, number 22. Damn it, did I forget to take that? I did. That's, that's better. I don't know if that's going to change uh, change your decision or not. What's the sc approximate scale of this place? It's a really big town. Um, let me see. Uh, it is a well. It's obviously a trade town. Uh, I'm trying to remember how many people there are. I think there's a. I know there's a lot of people, but. I don't remember exactly how much is a lot. I am trying to look and find that out really quickly. Ah, Bogenhofen has a population of about 10,000. So it's a very, very bustling town. Actually, I think that counts as a city by medieval standards. What about Renaissance standards? Well, I think uh, London in the Tudor period was only about a hundred K. Well, that's, you know, a bit more than 10 K. Yeah. But they're not going to be that many, uh, that many cities that big. Nope. Yeah. Is the whole think... city contained within the walls or is there stuff outside yes. the walls? Oh yeah. There's, there's going to be, um, so the, the Schaffenfest itself is going to be outside the walls. It's being set up. There's in this, always this stuff area outside over the here. walls. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's true. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there, there is some stuff outside the walls as well, but it's the, this is, this is a common, uh, characteristic about, uh, uh, empire, the, the, the empire, uh, of man, uh, they're, they're, they have to have walls. Wiki, what, what, wiki, for about what? Oh, well, I'm just going off the adventure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what uh, the relationship between the wiki information and the, the adventure is. It's between 5 and 10K. That's how many they have. <laughs> And as as noted with the shopping fest right around the corner, there's going to be even more people in town. Uh, whether they're going to be squatting out there on the uh, on the the future festival grounds, or lounging on their boats, or squatting outside town. Actually, they probably one of the things that the watch does is discourage people from just like well. Deciding to camp in the middle of the road. Well, yeah. Then they're going to go over there and do some uh, canopy police because they're not playing town watch uh, brutality. Since, yeah. since CERN is from this place, has he got any sort of knowledge of Liberon, that family? Um, no, not a family that, uh, you've heard of before. And you will also note that on the affidavit, all of the things that were signed were signed uh, by someone in Nalm, which is a bit of, bit of ways, uh, from here. Where's the map? That's the wrong map. There's the map. Right, so you are currently here in Bogenhofen and Nome is a bit over here, quite a bit of ways. Quite a bit a ways, that's a terrible st sentence by any chance do they do oil none they are principally 
gunpowder guys, I think, uh, guns and such like that. There's a uh, a paint, Citadel paint, called Nuln Oil. That's the the color of the wash. Right. Yeah. Well, Never heard of it. That's uh, Citadel uh, paints. You mean for for miniatures? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's going to be from Nuln, because you're probably going to find like an Altdorf color and possibly a Midden Middenheim color. Right, so what is the is the plan? Are you heading over to uh you know back across uh, town to Journey's End? Are you staying here on the uh the docks, maybe link up with Christoph's new friend or not new friend, but uh, your new friend and Christoph's old one? What was uh what were the drivers doing? Did they, they have already are arranged? Heading, they are heading back to Journey's End, um, and they're going. They they that's normally where they stay when they are coming through here. So they're going. They're hoping there's going to be open rooms. They're presuming there's going to be open rooms because it's like a really big inn. Well, I suppose my temptation here is to just follow Kristoff without even asking him if he wants us to go along. That's true. We did decide uh, FX, or you know, I declared multiple times that uh, the reason you were so quiet, even though it was technically you were you were absent, I said, nope, that's not why. It's because your loner just like kept critically failing, and you're like, I don't want to talk to nobody. Leave me alone. Yeah, he he wants to talk to his uncle. I mean, he likes his uncle. He just doesn't like to talk to people in general. And, you know, it's sort of an obligation, but, you know, he's willing to do it. You know, he's going to do it, meet his obligation and have a drink with his uncle, really. Okay. Ha so, happy happy to let um, Georg do the talking. So, actually, uh, something that Soren, or not Soren, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Ronke, uh previously asked. Uh, that's not what I thought he was going to ask about the. Uh, uh, damn it, my brain is freezing up. What's up with that, um, Lieberun? That's not what I thought he was going to be asking. But uh, something I wanted to know is there is very probably in a town of this size between five and ten thousand. There is very probably some sort of, uh, shall we call them, uh, um, I don't want to call them Thieves Guild, because that would just imply something. Uh, well, what, what, what shall we call them? Uh, you know what I mean. Um, so, uh, the, the question I have is... What was Soren's relationship to a theoretical uh, thieves guild that the town watch and the town council insist does not exist at all? Let me quickly check his um, bio. Okay, so there's no mention of a thieves guild there. So no, because remember, remember, with the, uh, the the bios are probably really, really loose because they were based off of uh, pregens. So there's nothing in his traits that would suggest that he's affiliated what kind I of think traits he... were you looking for I mean are you thinking like duty or something like that and quirks and stuff like that he's probably going to be unaffiliated okay
yeah, he'll he'll be unaffiliated. Cool, cool. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, Giger. Okay. Um, and also similarly, at least with York, uh, he's going to be aware that some of the, uh, the people that uh, he went was at the great company. I think you were calling them. Um, their right. family types would probably be in town or outside of town like yours. And I think you also have some actual family that might be in town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not going to deal with that till the morning though. I don't want to be wandering around the hinterlands in the middle of the night. Could be fun. Undoubtedly. Um, yep. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, what about uh, Enfys? Um, does he have any plans or and or desires uh, for the evening? Uh, I think it's simply going to be tavern time with uh, drinking of uh, wine and uh, finding interesting people to chat with. Okay. And Copper Tongue? Uh, she's going to be the same. She'll have a list of things to do on the next day, though. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, okay, so uh, somehow you guys all end up, in, you know, arriving at the the Boatman's Inn. Um, it it's pretty easy to find. You you just ask, you know, a single person uh, here on the uh, on the docks, and they'll like you know point you in the the appropriate direction. Um, there's like as you're 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 cruising along there, there's like all sorts of vessels that are tied up uh, to the the riverfront. You've got the the really big barges, you've got the smaller ones, you've got houseboats, you know. And the uh, the boatman inn is just one of many uh, that are establishments that are there. There are a lot of river folk type uh, that are inside the inn, and fr frankly, outside the inn as well. Um, mostly they are boatmen, but there, there are others, uh, present. Um, uh, you will see Yosef is already present. Uh, he's got like, you know, several bottles of wine that are on his table. Uh, and what was that? Somebody tried to set AFK and it wigged out on me again. Error, unknown special message type received. Parentheses, set AFK. So weird. Um, yeah, he will, as soon as he sees, uh, uh, Christoph, he's like, oh, hey, come on, come on over. And, uh, he seems to be in something of a very jovial mood. But then, you know, since those, those bottles of wine are mostly empty, got a pretty good idea why. He's like, ah, hey, I guess you guys are, you're, you're done. Yeah, come on, sit, sit. And he sort of waves like, "Yeah, let's let's have some more uh, some more wine over here." That's my uncle, right? Or yes. Is, um, I look. I kind of glance over at uh at Jorg, and I'm like, "All right, I just start. I head over that way." My uncle's way too cheery for my. Case. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's he's fine. He might be slightly inebriated. So and I he's down, definitely I... interested. Uh, you know, and it's like, yeah. So, how'd you get out here? You know, what's going on? Quite a ways away from uh, last I heard you. You were down there in Uber's right? Yeah, we um, took a couple of jobs here and there and uh, most recently we were helping to escort a couple of uh you know, i don't know were they carry caravan guards or yeah that's here. basically what you would have been caravan guards yeah yeah you know as always you know looking for for some money you know yeah some which money. i had uh wish you had been further north i could have hired you onto the boat 
do rem still remember how to sail, right? I do. Um, I didn't quite like the feeling of not being able to get away, you know, being Actually, stuck. No, you don't. You got rid of uh, sailing. <laughs> I did get rid of sailing, but I, rem you know, <laughs> I, I remember it wasn't all fun experience for me. So what, what news, uncle? Oh, he will absolutely go into long diatribes about, you know, this and that and what's going on, what he's been up to. He's mostly been uh, sailing, you know, up and down the right. Had to, got a cargo from Altdorf to, to bring it down here to, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, Bogenhofen, you know, some some wine. Then you know, made a pretty decent penny. Uh, even if you had to deal with those dying hearted jackasses, even even wildly intoxicated, he knows he knows better than to uh, bad mouth any of the the merchant houses. Pretty loud. He's probably gonna squint at uh, Yorg, and it's like. You look familiar for some reason. Do I know you? York? I don't know if you, you've met, but this is my my companion, York. Traveling with a dwarf as well. Hello, Mistress Dwarf. I am Yosef. Queen will just kind of grunt and say, Copper tone. Raises a glass or whatever she got for drink. And he will, you know, glance to Thorin and Enfys. And it's like, you know, clearly waiting to be introduced to them before. I didn't realize that we were all here. I thought it was just me and uh, yep. George. Yep, everybody just sort uh, of meandered along yeah. and said, yeah, we're going to end up in the same place. <laughs> Christoph thought so he was I, going by himself. Yeah. Like, yeah, it'll be uh, fun. And he turns around and goes, ah. Well, I, I, I um, introduce everybody in the group. And, uh, you know, like, if I had to be with anybody, these guys, you know, they're not too bad. That's high praise. <laughs> high praise, yes. <laughs> Might as well be with them. Yep. Well, yeah. So, uh, how long are you uh, in Bogenhofen? And this is mostly towards everybody, even if he's generally more familiar with Kristoff. Uh, we don't actually have any plans at the moment. Huh. Probably going to be looking for work after the Schaffenfest. Yeah, yeah. Well, may have to uh, try to, you know, if you're still interested, may I uh, look at to hire you on? You know, I could always use more hands on my boat. Don't know anything about boats, but I got hands. <laughs> it's relatively simple as long as you don't drown. Yeah, I don't uh, swim, really. Totally fine. I'm, yeah, I'm cool with neither, staying on the boat. Neither does Sir. Um... Woo! Jorg said, yep. It's time for me to go glug glug. Time for me to wash that, uh, wash the road off. I do want to ask a question just kind of offhand. Um, uh -huh. So just curious, uncle, have you, do you know how familiar you are? You are you with this uh, Bogan Hopkins city? Bogan I'm, I'm I've come here uh, more than a few times. Why? Yeah. Have you, do you know of, I'm trying to read this civil lawyers, commissioner Ross Garten Wegg. Do you know Gartenweg? 
Uh, let's see. I believe both of Soren and your. That's actually a location. It's like an address. Uh, oh. So I believe Soren and your could make like the area knowledge check thing. We got uh, you. Uh, be IQ, that... please. Defaults to IQ if you live there. Oh. The uh, signature at the bottom of the letter, Deaton Burke, or something like that. Sorry, I have to. Well, I just want to casually ask. Like, I don't, I don't want to mention anything about the letter or anything. I just have you heard of this fellow, or what can you tell us? Ah, uh, that'd be uh, Dietrich Barrel, uh, Lock, Stock, and Barrel. Uh, that, that's the GM saying that. Uh, he will not recognize the name, um, but then he hasn't really interacted that much with the, uh, the stuff. He's usually just, well, quite frequently he, you know, when he's come through here, he hasn't even, uh, ventured out of the, uh, the, the, the wharf side, riverside. You know, he can show up, offload some cargo, negotiate with some dude uh, who will bring more cargo, offload, and then he can leave. Um, so uh, uh, Soren um, looks at that and, or thinks about it, and let's see if this is going to work. Did that update the Bogenhofen map? With uh, for for you guys, with a um, new a new option there, an L. L. Let's see. No. No. I don't think so. You may have to like refresh it. Moved for me. The map moved. That's interesting. I see like the numbers in blue. Okay, I'm gonna unpublic it and then I was gonna say reshare it. Uh no. Do you have it? Because you've got layers that are visible to players, visible to GM and all that sort no, of stuff. I, there, there's no uh no layers uh on it. What did you do? That is um I exported a new version of the image and then I went to assets. Okay. And reloaded assets. And on the map, for we do uh, that? my map, on my map, I see, I saw the uh, green circle with the red L appear uh, where I'm pointing. I see a uh, green S. Yeah. That is really oh. interesting. I wonder, well, at any rate, where I, uh, where that thing is pointing, um, is where uh, Soren identifies that uh, that address. So it's between twenty five and twenty three. Yep. Soren recognizes the address. What you're saying? He does. Yes. Soren gets around. Right. He just didn't roll like crap like Daniel. I mean, he rolled really well. He rolled a five. Y'all need to remember that. Yeah. That's what I know about that. He, he may have what had feelings. Job? No, he's, he's, he's not uh, interacted with them before. He's just like, hmm, I think this that address is over in that area. All right, so uh with regards to emphasis uh i want to talk to people who are interesting yosef has a butt ton of stories and he is very happy uh to tell all of the stories because you know he's been up and down all over the rivers uh for for like nine on 30 years now and he he's you know convinced he's seen it all and done it all and he has several t-shirts queen is completely enraptured as soon as he starts telling stories all right she likes that uh, the stories i completely forgot about that mm -hmm. 
The more Did ridiculous, the better. Give him... All right, so he is chummy. Did I give him? I did not give him storytelling. I should have given him like, you know, what would that be? That would be like public speaking, maybe. Uh, you could do it that way, public speaking or performance. Maybe but that's do... assuming. I think there is actually a storytelling. It's like public speaking, storytelling. That's correct. Default to, uh, yeah, public speaking actually can default from storytelling as a uh, optional specialty. Ah, uh, okay. No, I want to see what that would be. Which makes me realize I haven't even cracked open the books yet. Ditto. I just had to open it. Let's see here. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, uh, okay, right. Uh, that's right. They added. They added uh, additional things for public speaking in later books because I was looking at the, the basic and it's just public speaking covers them all. Well, it says that includes the, those... skill with debate, oratory, and rhetoric, as well as ability with less formal activities such as punning <laughs> and storytelling. Not all speakers possess talent in all these areas. You may take an optional specialty. Right. I'm just going to have to do carousing instead. Right, so he got a success by three, so he is very, very good at his uh, his possible loads of BS, possible actual cool stories. That was a good roll. Yeah, yeah by eight. Oh, no, by, by five. So we rolled an eight. Is being so, drunk raise or lower that? Uh, well, that depends on whether you are like, you know, uh, actually, I don't think he has. It would be not lower. Have, he does not. He's not drunk. He By the rule, it have, would lower it, but. He does not have um, alcoholic, even though he drinks a lot. Uh, but he does have uh, alcohol tolerance, so he's he's fine. Yep. All right. Yes. So, um, if you are planning on overnighting here uh, at the uh, Boatman Inn, uh, it is just going to be treated like, well, generic coaching inn. Uh, so you could uh, get the you know pay for the common room and just like sleep out in the, the big room with everybody else or get your own room. Oh, I'm going to get my own room. Totally understandable. Yep, On the table. <laughs> Likewise. How yeah, many so... uh, pennies in the shilling? Twelve. Right, yeah. 12, uh, 12 pennies in a shilling, 20 shillings in a crown. You know, I could put that in the uh, the notes under the currency there. Thought I did. I what mean, are you talking to me? Individually, us. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, if I will double check if nobody has it uh, like that on, on there, or not if nobody, but uh, I will make sure that, that that's there afterwards if you guys don't beat me to it. It is in the currencies option. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm actually there, share but, that. Uh, it would be a good place to put it in those notes. Okay, so. Um. Yeah. So if you you know spend uh, spend however much money you wish on food and or entertainment 
the night will be full of drinking and browsing and possibly partying. And quite possibly some, some vomiting somewhere. Upon the morrow, um, regardless of where he, yeah, where did, uh, where did Soren end up sleeping? He get his own, uh, own little room. Private room, yep. Yep. So, uh, you are woken by the sound of something tapping on your window. Something it's, uh, rapping on my chamber door? Nope. Tapping on your window. Soren will grab a weapon and go to the window. There He'll is go... an owl outside that has, you know, a, a pouch around its neck. Like, oh, right. Looks like your, your monthly debt is due. Soren will just go, fuck. Well, that wizard is like, hey, I'm getting my money, damn it. Uh, I believe it is seven shillings and six pennies. Let me adjust my stuff. Sure, like, grumble, grumble, grumble. You had to wake me up for this. Um, all right. Reluctantly, Saren will open the window. He'll count out the amount he owes and uh, pay it. So how much was it? Seven shillings and... Six pennies. Yeah, isn't that... Uh, let me double check. I think we had that. Yes, it's actually on your uh, you know, that nine. Ooh. So that 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 hurt a little bit. Like grumble, grumble. But you know, she could carry around some a uh, couple of lead weights. So when it flies over there, you can give him the money and give him some extra weight to carry to slow him down. Yes, because that's what you want to do. Is you want to piss off the. The archmage you already owe money to. I think it's just time for some owl fricassee. Well, just so everybody is aware, uh, he has let Soren has learned uh, in the past that if he does not pay it, he ends up with severe unluckiness. That's about right. Okay, so the following morning, oh right, uh, I did uh, have one 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 other minor thing that uh, you would have learned from Yosef uh, is that he is going to be stuck in Bogenhofen uh, for at least probably till the uh, Schaffenfest, maybe maybe after it because he's uh, trying to he was trying to get some negotiations, take something back toward uh, Altdorf, and well. The Steinhoggers and the Rugbroders and I can't remember the other two. The the Tugans and uh, Frick. Come on, I should remember that from man. The it was Hoggins. the one that you just mentioned. Hoggins, Rugbroders, Steinhogger, and Tugans uh, are all being like, "Yeah, yeah, well, we're totally up for that." You you're gonna need to take a number and get in line because, well, big festival coming. Very busy. Okay, so the following morning. I know that uh, Mel, you said Coppertong had a list of things uh, that she was planning on doing today. Yes. What kind of things? Okay, so after breaking her fast, she will head over, I guess, to the town hall or okay. the town courts, whichever one is appropriate. She is going to look 
for any upcoming hangings to see if there's some fun to be had. <laughs> this is a quirk I haven't been able to use yet. Oh, I forgot about it. I'm not familiar with that one. She loves a good hanging. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So, uh, obviously, Soren is probably planning on going to the uh, the, the lawyer's place. Uh, is there anyone else that is going with, or does everybody else have like, yeah, I've got, I need to go do this other thing? Well, I got plenty of stuff to do, but I guess if they're going over there, I might as well. What is the stuff that you want to do? Well, you don't have to go with them. I mean, I don't want to leave them hanging necessarily, but uh, but no, I well, gotta if visit. If the you're folks. gonna leave them hanging, then you need to make sure to let Copper Tong know uh, because she That's she'll want to watch. Uh because I gotta visit the folks. I gotta go uh, inform families and. I have to uh, start poking around trying to find a stupid wizard that can maybe fix my sword. Which is probably not going to work out for me, but I'm going to try anyway. Okay. Uh, what about Enfys? Uh, what is his plans? Is he going to go with... Soren and apparently Jorg, or is he like, screw that, I'm going to sit here and relax, or is he going to do something? I'm going to go with, uh, I'll go with Soren. Okay. What about Kristoff? I, I think uh, Kristoff's anxiety is starting to kick in, being around so many people. Um, I don't know what he wants to do. He wants to just get out of here. <laughs> what what time of day is it again? Uh, in, you know, in the morning, yeah. You know, maybe he will go... Might go to the temple. And see if there's any coming holidays. Coming holidays. There are Holy. several temper, temples, actually. Yeah, I'm wondering. When is oh. Let me look, look at the map here. Well, you don't have to cry about it. <laughs> yeah. Let's so see. I don't. I don't know anything about the gods, but I see Mermita, Bogenar, Ulrich. Sigmar, any of them right. like any of them have to do with like nature, outdoors, hunters, that kind uh, of thing. Actually, yes, that would be the shrine of Tall that is outside town. Perfect. He will go there. Okay. And pray. So let me pull that up. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Before we so, go, I need, to make a, I need to make a donation to Shalia too. Before we go to the uh, lawyer's office, um, Siren will sit down with the group and say, "Look, you know what we're going to do here has a huge payoff, um, but if it doesn't go to plan, you know, chances are we're going to swing for this." And Copper Tongue's like, nope. And I'm gonna go watch a hanging now. Well, what maybe, do you want to do? Uh, maybe I shouldn't be a part of that. Just, just thinking, thinking that through there, Copper Tongue. If you hold off for a couple days, then maybe, uh, maybe you'll get to see Soren swing. Hmm. Ooh. Tempting. Soren, what is it that you, uh, what do you want to do? How do you want to play this? Oh, I'm wondering if there's a 
another possible way we can manage this. Maybe they need they need someone to fill this role, and um, you know, if we're upfront and honest and say that I'm not this person, but I look like him, perhaps they'll sign over the estate, and we can offer them um, fifty percent of the the income. The lawyers, that is. I don't know much about law, but uh, my guess is is that uh, if you don't claim this, this money's just going to go to probably the crown. Yeah, that's probably a, a good presumption. I'm thinking it might be, be challenging to to play the the what is it baronet you know and actually run the estate or just claim the money and and and, and run <laughs> it's more of a short term thing well we could claim the money and run split it with the the law firm and uh then the the rest of the estate goes to the crown i guess well you're presuming the lawyers are on the up and up well there is this maybe we should ask around town if people know anything about this person before you start presuming that identity which person oh caster caster yeah Lincoln? Um, and probably, also, uh, um, like, like I said, uh, previously, it doesn't look like he was from Bogenhofen, uh, assembly based off of the, uh, the, uh, doohickeys. Uh, what the hell was the, the affidavits? They were all signed by people in Nome. So he is probably from Nome or lived in Nome. Would I, uh, know that, uh, what about the guy that died? Um, would I know if there's some magical way these lawyers would be able to discern the truth? Goodness. Um, let's see. Well, uh, do keep in mind with regards to magic. Magic is mostly still feared and distrusted by the majority of people. Um, it is possible they would they, they could have um you know some uh, a spellcaster of some sort who might be able to do that but that would be really really expensive and i'm simply based off of what soren knows about the location he's like eh, that that's a little kind of small uh you would think in that case it would be more like you know present yourself to the uh uh the, the town uh, town court or the town hall or go to Altdorf. The uh, the road wardens that showed up, uh, did we ever say to them anything about this identity? Nope. And what happened to the body of the real uh, of the dude? Uh, he was burned because remember you had a bunch of mutants uh, nearby and the road wardens are like well we are not even gonna mess with this we're just gonna pile all of the, the bodies together and we're gonna burn them right especially after you guys described what uh if you described what happened to the uh uh, uh Lieberung's, um guards i don't know if you did but that was that was the uh, th those were the guys that started vomiting up the, um, the 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 beetles and then they just sort of deflated and became flesh suits. Well, I'm going to like, uh, I'm I'm going to willfully say... fail my my impulsiveness and uh, I'm just going to smack uh, Soren upside the uh, the shoulder and say, "Get on with it. Let's get us some money." Well, have you ever considered? that Soren is actually related to this fellow 
and that with this other fellow being dead, Soren might actually legally be entitled to inheritance. That well, would be another consideration. That was why I was asking if there's any records kept. Because then we could investigate Soren's parents or presumed parents, because maybe they were like foster parents or whatever, if they had any um, any link to Baronet Liberung. Worst comes to worst, you could just, you know, start asking questions uh, of the lawyer too. Uh, but um, at least for for FX, you guys would have seen that uh, that shrine to Tall uh, as you were entering. So there there is that. And regarding Tall, he is the god of the wild. Uh, so his uh, he's the god of the wild places and animals, and the king of nature. Does any one of our group have the skill research? <laughs> nope. Well, I'm actually surprised they didn't give uh, emphasis research, huh? Clearly, your uh, your master was one of those who's like, screw this research crap. Oh yeah, that plus you're like a pyromancer. It's like we don't need to research this. We just need to burn it. Yeah, I mean, I could burn any records that might prove anything. <laughs> So, decision is um, Soren is uh, is Soren impulsive? Yeah, he is. Let me just roll. Oh. <laughs> it's not like Peck <laughs> or no, I'm sorry, it's Nosh was like super sad that he that he succeeded. So instead of oh, what's the worst can that can happen? Let's do it. Soren's going. A lot could happen. We should probably think about this a little. It's probably because that uh, that road warden who was like looking at him funny has has you know way back earlier. Uh, his has got him thinking, oh, yeah, this could be bad. It's... How come everybody keeps recognizing you, Soren? I don't know. Maybe this cast of uh, Liberung got around a lot. All right. There's got to be somebody in this town that knows about this dude. Wait, which one are you talking? Uh, what do you mean, uh, recognizing him? That was because of his secret. It was triggering, and uh, it was it was a yeah, rogue warden. We've been in how many taverns, and rogue wardens recognize him. And there's something going on. Yeah, but Soren's not saying it's because he still shit. He's blaming Caster. Did, did they remove the the option to uh, you know just? Pull the uh, the image down, not the image, but not the token. Uh, the portrait. They had re-added it at one point, but I think it wasn't working the last time we tried it. I think you have to hold shift or control or something like that. I I, I seem to remember. Uh, yeah, if you just try all the different uh, extra keys, I, I think one of them is supposed to work. Oh, no, I think the deal was if, if there is a token already, then it doesn't work. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. So that's kind of put... You could always remove the token and re-add it later. Well, I was just going to... I was just going to do that for the, the, the various PCs so I could stick them on the map. Uh, so it's like, okay. Yeah. 
Now, I've always had to create those as tokens. Huh. So, CERN's 32. He went to the orphanage when he was 10. So, 22, year, 22 years has passed. Um, likelihood that there's someone at the orphanage that remembers him? I imagine pretty slim. I would say probably. Well, I don't know. Did he leave a good impression? And I got to find out where the orphanage is. <laughs> Siren says, I want to try and find out some information. I may just be a uh, a legit heir to this Actually, it doesn't fortune. look like there is an actual orphanage in town. Because there is so. the, uh, the current... Uh, the, the current lead priest of uh, Sigmar is trying to raise funds for an orphanage. Ah. So it would probably be church would be taking kids in? Probably. Uh, like yeah. Um, there is the Shalian Mercy House, which is I th think over here, which is you know, you know in that, that, that general area. Uh, and that's the really low down, uh, or low, yeah, low down. Uh, that is considered or called uh, the pit, the northern district. Uh, it is widely regarded by the town's wealth wealthier denizens as a lawless hive of sedition and criminal activity. In fact, the north barracks there is actually. Uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, referred to as Fort Blackfire as a grim reference to the bloody battle fought in the Blackfire Pass, reflecting the hostile demeanor of the locals toward the uh, town watch. It sounds like a pleasant place. It would be funny if CERN was like Oliver Twist. Yeah, but um, if it was raised by the uh, by the church, then it would probably be you know Shalian. Uh, but was he actually raised like that? I thought he was actually you know grew up on the streets. So, all right, we will assume that he's grown up on the streets at at age ten. He could have turned yeah, into an yeah. urchin after his parents were brutally murdered in a um, alley after they went to the theater. <laughs> and this is my estate and I'm going to rename Enfys Alfred. <laughs> um, okay, so. Uh... So Saren's going to do some research on his parents. All right. So he'll go to the, you said it was sisters of something that would probably oh. keep these sort of records. No, that'd be a, a Verena, Temple of Verena 12, number 12. All right. So Saren will go there. Where the hell is... Oh, there it is. Wait. Uh, okay, so knowing that he is planning on spending some time doing some research, that will probably change uh, Yorg's plans and possibly Enfys's as well. Although Enfys may just stick with him, uh, you know, to also do research. I don't know. Yeah, I'll uh, tag along and make sure he reads the correct books. We know Yorg isn't going into a library because he can't read. He never well, learned to read. Was was that Shalia? No, Verena, Temple of oh, Verena. Okay, never mind. No, uh Yorg Yorg will be on his original plan. 
Um, so the original plan was. Okay, so he's basically going around uh, checking with the families uh, today. So yeah, he could probably stop by and donate uh, in route. That is, I don't remember which one that one. Right. Which number it is? That's uh, fourteen. Um, you said that was so, in the pit. Yes. So uh, there is a. There's the proper temple of Shalia there, but in the pit they have a. Shalian Mercy House. Oh, oh, okay, gotcha. So yeah, and it's like out of a small converted warehouse, uh, and it's like it's basically a soup kitchen. Okay, well, I'll take their recommendation. This is going to be how many shillings I'll give them because I can't count. Okay, minimum of two. <laughs> I, uh, I think that's that's right then. She said two. Yeah. I just, I figured he'd grab a handful. Okay. Um, okay, so, and then you will spend some time, uh, uh, you know, going to various houses and knocking on, or, or shops and such like that, doing that. Um, so, with regards to Copper Tongue's question, uh, there is absolutely going to be, you know, probably a couple of hangings, uh, because, you know, there's town this size, there's constantly, uh, there are constantly thieves that have been caught, you know, so... There, there will be a couple uh, uh, that, that are scheduled. Okay, so she will make note of those and plan to attend to them. <laughs> okay, I need to probably make some notes uh, from the fact yeah. that... Uh... <laughs> well, how does she feel about the pillory? Stocks, gibbets? No, it's just hangings for some weird reason. I mean, gibbets are pretty gruesome, depending on which version you're looking at. Yeah, there's the, the normal gibbet, and then there's the crow's cage. Okay, so uh, Infus and Soren are going to be doing research, so we'll have to figure out... Uh, uh, what your effective skill is there, there will be bonuses and such like that. Um, and how long is Kristoff going to be at the, uh, shrine to tall and what's he doing afterwards? He's, he's not going to be there long. He'll be there long enough to pay proper respects. And, um, he will leave a tithe of 10% of what he's got. Yeah. You know, however they do that in those days to the priest okay. or whatever. Um, so he will leave six shillings. Oh, it's expensive. I'm trying to find the... Th okay, yeah, here we go. So uh, with regard, let's see, uh, just outside the town on the road to, well, Helmgart, also towards... Right. Stands a small shrine to tall where prayers, travelers offer prayers as they set out to the mountains. Uh, maintained by local hunters and woodsmen, it consists of a small circular dry stone hut with a conical thatched roof and deer and a deer skull hangs over the lintel. Uh, while Bogenhofen has its share of vagrants and the down at heel, none dare sleep in Tall's hut for fear of offending the wild god. Uh, let's see. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah, so it's like by tradition, it does say local hunting parties leave a portion of Tall's bounty in the shrine for the god. These offerings always disappear overnight, uh, but that's fine. Um, da -da 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 -da. yeah, so, uh, yeah, that, 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 I'm certain there's going to be some place for you to to do that. And then once you are done with that, uh, where is he planning on going? Well, he's going to plan on going back to meet with Soren and Yord 
and and Memphis, you know, they're gonna figure out how to how to do this impersonation <laughs> thing. Okay. So he'll head back to wherever the group was gonna be. Right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna operate on the presumption that uh, that um, Soren is going to have declared. Yeah, I'm gonna go do some dang research at Ver Temple of Verena before I go over there. So that's easy enough to do. Um, all right. Yeah, that'll so, be easier uh, to find. Uh, so Copper Tong, after you get that, what is the next thing that you are planning on doing since you said you had a list? Uh, Copper Tong is going to, hang on, I lost the map. I'm sorting through windows. Uh, hold on, I can be sure. No, I got it. It just, it was zoomed in. Um, she is, I think, going to go over to the Metal Workers Guild and poke around for a good bit. Oh, not the guild, like a, a smithy. I'm sorry. Although metal workers might work too. I don't know. She might do both. Was she a guild member? Um, I don't think if so. If she was, Actually, it would have been probably have rank, rank if she would... did. Fine. Would that be under like advantages and perks? Yeah. Okay, nope, she is not. Doesn't mean she can't be one. She is a master builder. Well, that's just that? that's just, that's a talent. Okay. okay. Yeah. So yeah, no, she does she not have a guild membership. Bump, that's like a bump to some stuff. I don't remember which. Yeah, well, you could potentially have like a rank zero in a guild, uh, which basically would just mean you're an apprentice to somebody. Uh, and that would have been zero points, but it would have be quote unquote membership. Yeah, if she had anything like that, it would be with the rune forging, but I don't have one listed. Or runesmithing, I'm sorry. So anyway, so she'll start off at the uh, smith, like the smithy, and hang around there for a while, strike up some conversations. And then after that, she might make her way over to the Metal Workers Guild to check it out. Okay. Yep. Uh, you will definitely find they, they, they are pretty darn busy. Uh, in all regards um they so it's like upon seeing you several of the smiths uh will immediately ask if you are looking for work and if you are a member of this guild or that guild or you know et cetera et cetera uh, because you know they are crazy busy right now uh queen will say not a member of a guild but definitely looking for work and she'll crack her knuckles. I am looking through this. So none of them can actually hire anyone without, because guilds are super, super powerful in, in this time period. So they will def definitely uh, direct you toward the Metal Workers Guild to see if, you know, you can possibly join or or become a, a member and uh yep. and she'll go do that let's see the metal workers guild is a tall narrow building situated on the eisenbahn not far from the carpenter carpenters guild uh it's facad bears an intricately wrought uh, iron sculpture of a griffin the work of now yeah, well you don't know that uh da -da 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 then the guild house lies a series of offices and clerks. Uh, no workshops are on site as the smoke, heat, and incessant banging of a metal worker shop are not conducive to sensitive business meetings. Well, yeah, that, that makes perfect sense to me. Let's see. So now I need to find out. Damn it. That, I totally meant to do this this week and I completely forgot. 
uh, I need to find out how much a uh, how much it would cost to actually join a guild. Uh, do you know uh, the the answer to that, Daniel? It cost you your first twelve years of life. Well, but you're already past twelve years of life. Yeah, I I don't. You you have to become an apprentice. Somebody has to accept you as an apprentice. And that typically only happens through familial connections and that sort of thing. I don't think you typically just walk in off the street, but I that's just based on my research on it, and it may differ here. And there yeah. may be other ways. Well, in I guess if case, you made a good enough impression on somebody. Plus, uh, dwarves are, or dwarfs, and I, I need to remember that for whatever stupid reason, in Warhammer Fantasy, the, the plural is dwarfs, not dwarves, which just is so weird to me. Um, but they have the automatic reputation as being, you know, among the best of the best uh, in terms of... Uh, uh, in terms of like smithing and such like that, so I could totally see a human guild sort of maybe making uh, making some exceptions, presuming you know they're like okay, well show me what you've got, sort of thing. Um, so due to the established and declared. They are crazy, stupid, busy. The clerks uh, will redirect you to uh, the guild master himself. Uh, uh, he introduces himself. He doesn't have a picture yet because I didn't know I was going to need a picture. Clearly, he needs a picture. <laughs> I got to make a note. Guild master Davrick Slicer. You need a. You need an image of Sir not appearing in this film. But he could be important. I actually did try to find a picture of that baby. That baby? Yeah, when they when they page over to Sir not appearing in this film, there's a baby in a helmet. Oh. Um Right, so uh, he, yeah, he's immediately uh, immediately goes into you know checking checking in uh, with with regards to you know okay what are you good at uh, what what are your capabilities do you know any gunsmithing da, da, da. Okay. Queen will go down the list of what she can work with that. She works with iron, lead, and tin. Okay, standard metals. Yep. Would the rune smithing like be a um, like a not necessarily a secret, but something she wouldn't want to like uh, advertise, considering these are not dwarves. That is probably true. Okay, so she uh, will plus keep that she'd to herself. Wanna, she'd want to actually finish her anvil thing. Actually, yep. no. Just thinking that you added uh, Smith, lead, and tin. Okay, so it's already... I, I was just wondering because I know the, the master builder may have... Uh, may automatically increase it. Mm. Um... Okay, so uh, he is also curious about, uh, um, you know, how long are you planning on being in town? Because, well, this isn't something that they can just, you know, hand out willy-nilly. If you're going to be here, uh, what did you link to in here? Oh, right. Um, so uh, he's, well, he, he, he'll be like... Uh, they will need like a you know binding um, period of time. I don't know. It's probably like a year and a day where you would uh, work with work for them. Oh, because uh, I think 
we were talking about like taking the return trip with the people. Were we? Y'all remind that, me. That or mm-hmm. maybe jump in on the boat with uh, Yosef. Uh, hadn't, we, hadn't fully decided yet. We hadn't agreed to anything. Okay. Yep. So she'll kind of be a little vague, but and just say, don't have specific plans, but likely not going to be here for a year. Probably more like for two or three weeks until after the festival or whatever it is that's going on. Okay, so well, uh, he's like, well, we, we're we would like to uh, work with that, but got too much stuff that we have to, you know, you know, got to make sure long term stuff. But uh, he will uh, suggest, you know, say if you uh, if you end up changing your mind and decide to, you know, stay here for for a while. Then maybe we can uh, uh, discuss possible employment. Queen will nod and say, "Fair enough," and hop down and make her way out. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, research people. Research it defaults to IQ minus five or writing minus three. I don't think either of you or any of you have. Uh, writing, but I believe Christoph, Enfys, and Soren are all uh, literate. Is there someone at this place that is, you know, air quotes, a librarian that could help? There, it is a. Uh, da, 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 let me back. It is. I forgot to even explain it. Temple of Verena. Uh, the classically designed Temple of Verena is a relatively recent uh, building constructed only a few decades ago uh, when the council appointed their first non Verenan magistrate and required the local Verenan clergy to vacate the courts, which they had maintained for centuries. Uh, the temple has one full time priestess. Uh, there's a small number of initiates, which are mostly younger sons uh, uh, of mercantile families who uh, wanting to go on to university. Uh, the, da, 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 um, let's see. So let me scroll back up for something else. So it is possible you may end up being able to do that. There we go. The temples, Verena, Temple of Verena. Da, da, da. E, da, da. Um, let's see. So, provided you provide, uh, uh, if you provide a suitable donation, uh, like you know, ten shillings or more, uh, and uh, or like a uh, a book containing some some rare lore or something like that. Uh, it is possible that the uh, uh, Mother Greta uh, will conduct any of the research uh, for you. So is it ten shillings? Ten shillings, or you know, some sort of rare book or something like that. All right. Well, I only have I only have the money. Don't have any rare books. Okay. You have a That's finely good. worded legal document. Uh, ten shillings. All right. Walk out the ten shillings. Um, okay, so what are the nature of the uh uh who just posted libraries? 
No, he didn't. Uh huh. It's still libraries. Uh, so what are the nature of the questions that you are trying to learn? Trying to learn more about um, Soren's parents, records right, of them. So tell me, and... how did Soren's parents actually die? Were they like, you know, actually uh, thieves just as like, like you were? So it's a family business and got hung, hanged. Hey, I got no, some no. tarot cards over here if you want one. No, no, they were murdered in a failed robbery attempt in a back alley outside the theater. Yeah, but you didn't vow revenge. I might now. A little late. You're supposed um, to come back to 25. Do you have your tarot cards handy? Yeah, they're right over here. He always has to allow me to shuffle. He's a weirdo. He's a super weirdo. Damn it. Did I, f you know, I totally think there's actually a, uh, there actually is a tarot, uh, mod. Yeah. Yeah. That was the one that, uh, I got from Hal. All right, I'd have you cut the cards, but, uh, well, you can't. Yeah, but I don't have it. All right, the question is, uh, how did his parents die? Ace of Wands. Of death. Well, I suppose uh, you could say they got clubbed to death. What was it? Ace of... Ace of Wands, upright. Club to death. Ugh. Well, Sirin does believe that all wizards are ultimately fools. And Infus looks at him funny. No, Infus is uh, looking up. At yeah, him. yeah, we're kind of fools. Quite bored. Just waiting for someone to, you know, say, look at this. I don't know. There's there's plenty of books around here. You could like totally be poking around and maybe possibly reading some, or you could. If there's anything you could totally bail. If there's, if there's anything that looks interesting, I'll pull a book down and start reading. Hmm. Actually, I also have the mythic. Um, well, you could do that. Prompt thing I... as well. I think my interpretation of this would be a uh, a traveler showed up and uh, they took him in and he ended up killing him. The mythic idea generator generated two words, utterly ravage. Those could work together. <laughs> Ah, hold on. Um, hold on. Um, I okay. So, uh, they died. Weird. They uh, let's see. Um, both of them came down with some sort of uh, illness. Um, and they ended up dying. Uh, he he did not find out. You know, Soren was told one thing, but uh, as the you know whatever his this is how they actually die, or this is how they died, and she doesn't know that she's necessarily talking to uh, him. Uh, so she's telling him what the the official story was. Is that uh, he they they were suffering from some strange illness that the local physicians could not heal, and for whatever reason. Uh, when they died, their face was purple. Uh, their eyes were actually like almost bulging from their head. And their their tongue was like super big and bloated. 
so they promptly burned them. Okay. So and that's said what the what the official story was. Or whatever it was. Alright, so that's how they died. He wants to find information on like who they were and if there's any relationship from them to Liberungs. How many kids did they have? Actually no, Soren would have known that. Well, uh, maybe, maybe not. Well, he might maybe not be aware of their extended family situation. Maybe Cern does have a twin brother, and they gave away that kid to the Liberungs. Um, let's see. So you are how old? Thirty. Uh, it's like uh, she's going to apologize that they, they, you know, this this particular uh, temple was just um, just erected about 25 years ago or so uh so i was at 2025 something like that so they did not uh they don't have uh the the birth records here like they would have so where would those birth records be um, like now if they're even you know they they weren't really keeping them uh it's not until she she sort of took over that she's uh been pushing for that sort of thing and it's even then it's going to be super super shoddy and and uh half-assed and by birth records uh they probably mean somebody wrote in a journal saying such and such was born on this day yep but as far as she knew uh they were just regular town uh, townspeople and uh they they had uh, she thought they had a son. Or was it a daughter? It's been a while. What about Casta Liberung and Baronet Liberung? Um, neither of those names are uh, sound familiar to her. And there's nothing in the records that she finds. Nope. She is kind of curious about uh well why are you uh why are you looking into this? Something going on? Actually I wonder if she is curious. Yeah, she she's you know, Verena. They're like super curious. They're librarians, of course they're curious. Uh CERN will say Um I wanted to know about my family's history. Anything oh, that I could find. You're you're the son. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. It's all right. It's a a long time ago. I've come to terms with it. But uh, that's all you could find, hey? Yes, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like they were uh, your your parents were. Um, she's going to find a diplomatic way of saying they weren't uh, wealthy, so they did not likely keep. Uh, you know, they weren't considered important for the uh, for the records. But she's going to find a a really diplomatic way of putting that, so it doesn't occur to you that's what she meant until. You're no longer in the, uh, the the temple. And it doesn't mention any names of kids or anything like that. Just that there was a, a son born. Right. All right. Well, Enfys... Doesn't look like we've found anything uh, useful here. Yeah, 
Is there any books jump out at me as I'm looking through things? Well, that would be weird. Um, well, that depends on what you're possibly looking for. I mean, it's, it's a whole bunch of, a uh, whole bunch of various stuff. There's, there's stuff about the merchant families. There's general books on religion and prophecy. And, you know, because of course there is there, you know, it's, it's a, it's a temple, uh, and that sort of stuff, uh, general history, etc. All right. Um, no, nothing really captures my eye, uh, at least in relation to uh, what Soren's looking for. So I will head out with Soren. Okay, so it sounds like uh, Soren and uh, Enfys and Kristoff has linked back up with you guys. Uh, will you will you know it's probably a bit later in the day, probably around noonish, uh, because you know Yorg has been going around to, uh, talking to the people. Oh, yeah, I did mean to jump there to the org. You will get the probably the expected uh, expected reactions. Um, some of the some of the family uh, see you, you know, coming you know, with that that expression that you're inevitably wearing. And they already know and they're like, right, saw this coming, knew this was coming. Uh, some of them will break down. Some of them just like go, well, I told him not to go. Some of them will laugh. Yep, pretty much. Why do I keep getting this error? I'm not, I guess somebody's setting, setting to AFK. Keep seeing yeah. error. Unknown special message type received. Set AFK. Yeah, when when you sit AFK, that brings that up. I don't know why. I don't think it's the GURPS rule set. I think it's Fantasy Grounds. Is it because you're doing like slash set AFK instead of right click and mark it, uh, you know, doing it that way? Well, I've had the error come up when I right click and go set AFK. I don't know about the slash AFK. Interesting. Okay. Did it come up then? It did. Yeah, that was the slash AFK. Interesting. And I guess it came up there again. Yep. A little disconcerting. Um, okay, so... Uh, what is the next step? Uh, for the the the, 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 the pseudo research group, I think we should take it back to the group. If everyone's cool with potentially swinging from ropes, looking at copper tongue in particular. Nope. Copper Tongue doesn't want any part of it. And Soren will say, 20,000 gold. Um, crowns. That's amusing. Success by yep. two against both yep. honesty yep. and greed. Queen is pretty torn on this one. It's the uh, outlook unclear. Ask again later in the uh, Magic Eight Ball. <laughs> well, to be fair, that means that she defeated both of her uh, both of her disadvantages there. So technically, she could do whatever she wants. She doesn't need to be honest, and she doesn't necessarily need to be greedy either. Queen will, let's see, Jorg is our de facto leader, right? 
Yeah, what do you say, hey. y- Yorg? Yeah, she will defer to Yorg. If Yorg is like, we're all in, she'll not be real happy about it, but she'll go. Well, you may have some difficulties tracking Yorg down. He's got a bunch of places to go and doesn't have a an itinerary to hand out. Well, I assume this is sort of at the end of the day because we would have spent most of that researching. Well, at the end of the day, he's probably going to be out at his uh, folks' farm. Okay. I think he would have mentioned that, but... Your parents Uh, have a farm and we're paying for rooms in the inn? It's not in the middle of the night. It's not in Bogenhofen. It's outside. It's a bit of distance away, actually. So you're going to have to hoof it. Probably, I think you have... Uh, I want to say a sister or a brother in town. I can't remember which. Did I? So you, I think I am not positive. That sounds familiar. I'm looking, I'm clicking and trying to get there before I forget. Uh, let's see. You have dead older brother who was murdered probably by, uh, uh, Infant, not infant, but uh, probably by Soren's family, mm-hmm. um, or something like that. Uh, older brother who is at the family house with his family, older brother who moved away, so he's probably an Altdorf. Uh, let's see. Ah, you have a younger sister you're not particularly close to, she's married off, so she might be in town, and ditto with the other younger sister you're not very close think, to your uh, family i think all of the actual family members are going to be at the farm but uh ludolf will be in town okay right Which, I actually now uh, my assumption was the the farm would be about like an hour's walk or something outside of town Right. Okay. So yeah. So you may end up trying to. Did I? Damn it! I don't think I ever got around to making an image for him. No, wait. I did, but I don't know if I did a uh, thing. Uh, I'm looking. I thought I remembered you showing oh, it to me. I never mind. I stand corrected. Uh, I just have to get everything in the the right size. Okay, yeah, so you could probably seek out uh, Ludolf, who is a something of a merchant. Um, he is in the Merchant's Guild, um, but he has not... Uh, what's the word? Uh, we got... Uh, da, da, da. He's in the Merchant's Guild, um, but he is not on the small council. Right. So he's probably like, third, fourth, fifth in line, something like that. Uh, He will be happy to see you, surprised to see you. Yeah, actually, I think uh, think I'll probably visit him while I'm looking for the uh, the gold wizard, because maybe he knows somebody. Um, Okay, so give me a universe reaction roll. Let's see if he does know anything about uh, right. wizarding stuff. I just sort of envision across Big town money. and it's like perks up for some reason. Eh. Uh, he's he's Wait. heard some rumors, but you know they're rumors. What do you need? Uh, what do you need a uh, a wizard for? Oh, I uh, uh, kind of embarrassing, really, but I, I broke a sword and it's a really nice sword and uh you know how it is you can't just fix those so thought maybe if there was a a wizard about he might be able to magic it back together he's totally a merchant he's like gonna just be thinking why don't you just buy a new one well i could but this is you know that he'll he'll show him the sword it's it was a nice piece of work. 
That's not what Copper Tongue kept telling you. She kept telling you that it was junk. You should throw it away because it was going to break on you one day. It's absolutely junk. She's just picky. Or maybe she's hide. psychic. She did say that's going to break one day. Okay, hold on. I need to. Well, Sword okay. Sword hasn't broken. To be fair, he's you know he 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 sneaks around a lot and tries to avoid getting into actual fights. Um, okay. Uh, well, he's going to offer to take you to uh, uh, dinner tonight. Uh, you know, after he gets you know out of his meetings and such like that. Catch up. Yeah, okay. Uh, we got a a week before shopping fest, I guess. So, oh, we could, uh, go out yes. to the farm, out the farm tomorrow night or tomorrow maybe. Then. Oh, I, yeah, that's a great idea. I can see, uh, uh you know, see, uh, how Frank is doing. He gets the, uh, Mm, yeah, look. Uh -huh. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, yeah, he's like, yeah, I can do that, and heck, we can. Uh, I'll even lend you my uh, uh, my coach. Oh, excellent! I'm gonna be I'm gonna be stuck in meetings all day anyway. Um, but yeah, so uh, with that, uh, that means he will not necessarily be uh, out at the farm. So conveniently enough, you know, the, the PCs sure. can link together and discuss courses of action. And then it can cycle back to around where Mel said that uh, Copper Tongue is going to rely <laughs> on what Yorg says. Uh, all in or not? Well, funnily enough, York is uh, is like, you know, I'll back your play if you really want to do this, but uh, I don't know. So, we agree. Let's I'm check it out. Okay. We'll split it. Even. Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. What's the worst that can happen? We take a fast uh, we take a fast horse out of town. That's probably I tell not you, the worst that could happen. I tell you we're out if they say that we have to pay a hundred gold crowns to get the money out <laughs> of a uh, a bank account. I just need you to sign this in blood right here. Um, okay. So the uh Gartenweg is a you know, it's a little street uh running eastwards from the Hafenstrasse, just northwest of the Golden Trout Club, which is a pretty darn expensive uh club. Uh there are several equally small buildings uh flanking it. Um, it's definitely kind of close to the financial hub of town, but the general size is kind of small. Maybe they're just really, really private. The shutters on the windows have been open. The doors, you know, not, oh, uh, 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 yeah. I was going to say not open, but duh, it's a door. Sign above the door reads lock, stock, and borrow, lawyers, etc. All right. Well, head on in. All right. Inside, there is a uh, young clerk who is like sitting at a, at a desk, and he he looks up. He's like, uh, looked like he was kind of bored, and uh, he's immediately you know asks uh, you know if he can help you. I have this here letter, and I'll produce the letter. He will skim over it, and uh, he's like, and the affidavits, do you also have those? I do. 
All right. Uh, he will, you know, take those. He's like, uh, all right. Well, uh, Herr Barl has been uh, looking forward to meeting you, uh, Herr Lieberung. Uh, I'll, I'll let him know that you're, you're right. Please have a seat. And there, there are a couple seats around there. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's an office. How many of us are in this room? Bodyguard, like. Looks like everybody came. Yay. Uh, he <laughs> rings a small bell twice, and he, he's like so clearly waiting. And he hears a uh, gruff uh, enter, uh, then uh, takes the uh, two documents into another room. And as soon as he opens the door, he's like, uh, Herr Barl, I have the, uh, you know, Herr Lieberung's stuff. Not stuff, but I have the the document, and he he goes in. And as soon as the door closes, everybody goes, "Yep, there it is." Several things uh, happened. Uh, you will see the shutters that are across the uh, the, the windows that were up; they drop, uh, and you also hear bolts being drawn across them. Do. I look at Soren and say, you know, trouble trouble lands on you like flies uh, on, sh on shut it. Shut it. Don't want to hear it. And um uh, you know, just as he finishes, uh you will hear a, a voice uh call out rather loudly, Castor Liberum, otherwise known as the Magister Impedime of the Cult of the Purple Hand. The name of the Emperor, I arrest you and your companions for conspiring with chaos, murder theft and other crimes here and after be to be enumerated lay down your weapons and surrender i don't really know him bloody i just came in to get a fishing license and now everybody has a fishing license place here wrong kind of fishing CERN says that lab. Fuck my life. I uh, nudge Soren and say, I've got this. And I shout out, This isn't Castor Lieberman. We're here to tell you about how we killed Castor Lieberman. Um, okay, it looks like Kristoff has failed his bad temper check, although Copper Tongue succeeded at hers, so she's probably just disgusted, not angry. Um, Infus has just stated that. Uh, what is how is Kristoff reacting with his bad temper, and what is Yorg doing? Which one do you want first, Kristoff? I think Kristoff's gonna like get up to his feet. He's like, "Who the bloody hell are you?" You know, we're just here well, to. Well, right you know. now you guys are in the. Uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna do a thing. Not gonna yeah. be important. What was the what was the spiel? Did they actually identify themselves? No, the. Feel as it were. There's the spiel. They did not identify themselves. Okay, well, that was uh, your uh, next operation was to inquire as to whom we have the pleasure of uh, being arrested. Kristoff oh, no. says the same thing, but in not so nice of language. Yeah, Yerk translates. Well, uh, as you guys are doing, you know, Infus does okay. uh, did shout out the, the whole, hey, yeah, we, this isn't him. We whacked that dude. 
there is a long pause uh, as uh, you are sitting there waiting to hear a respond or a response. And then there's this terrible sound heard from, from outside. It's just like, you know, just this hideous ripping and tearing noise. Uh, you hear screams uh, echoing. And then there's like even more sickening rending uh, sounds. And then it gets completely quiet. I hope that was them tearing up the warrant. So nobody what? has actually entered the room? No one has entered the room. <laughs> Empus will say, fine, don't believe me, and I'll walk over to the door and try to open it. Uh, the door is actually, uh, it looks like it's been locked or barred from the outside. I presume Doesn't that's unusual. That is super unusual. So as soon as the sounds start breaking out outside, yep. Queen is just going ahead and strapping on that shield. And <laughs> like, oh, it's on. Uh, after the uh, sounds outside have abated, uh, is it quiet? It is quiet. Uh, Jorg is going to observe Emphis trying the door and suggest that uh, Copper, if you don't mind. Don't mind pointing what? Pointing at the door. Make a little axe hand gesture. Oh, got it. She'll draw the axe. I need a minute. I'm certain you can kick it down. Sounds like whatever happened outside is over. He'll give it a good the, shove anyway, just to see. What about the door over here? It was also one of those that was uh, uh, secured. When the that's where the uh, the dude walked into. As if he was uh, uh, going to address someone. You give oh, it wait, a shot. No, that one. That one was not. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I have to remind myself. How do I turn this off? That door is not unlocked. It opens. And if I can. Is this it? I think that's it. You can immediately see that is not the kind of stuff you would uh, see in a lawyer's office. Well, so there's there could nobody be in here. There is nobody in here. You can see there's another door that, that is over there. Uh, I think that's a door. No, wait, that's like uh, that's one of the shuttered windows. Uh, but the, uh, the the door over here, if you go over there and check, it is also uh, got the, you know, clearly been bolted from the outside. Uh, do I, uh, go ahead. Do I? Hmm. I'm just trying to guess if there's any way for me to sense any magic of any kind at play here. Um, let's see. I think, I don't think you can, I'm trying to remember how that, uh, actually officially works. Uh, yeah, I think you have item. to touch it normally. I think there is a, there is a way, but it's, uh, you don't have that. It's like, uh, right. There is a. There's like there should be like a detect uh, thing that uh, some wizards could theoretically pick up, but I don't think yeah. you have it. No, I don't. Um, I will make a note on that and let you know how much it would end up costing in the event that uh, you do decide up. Oh, I do want to pick this up. All right, so uh, Copper starts uh, 
skewing the door down. Um, you were about you're about halfway through it, and you suddenly start hearing other screams outside. But it doesn't sound like it's like immediately right here. Uh, it sounds more like you know further down that way or further further down that way. Like maybe whatever it is that's out there, uh, someone has just uh, noticed it. Because, you know, remember the location on the, 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 the map. This is pretty close to the uh, center of town. We only hear the screams. We don't hear, like, any other noise. That is correct. Okay. Those uh, new screams, were they sort of getting ripped apart screams or just surprised to see bad things screams? The latter. Latter. And you finish hewing through the door. It collapses, uh, you know, in, in well... Not collapses. It's like splinters. Splinters, and there's like large chunks of it just hanging there. Uh, and you step out, and uh, you are immediately horrified at the sight uh, out there. You'll see all in this, uh, all in this, this, this area here is uh, looks like you know five, six bodies or something that have been literally ripped apart. There's like uh, uh, you know pieces of them have been scattered around. Uh, you can like see uh, a person's head that looks like it's been tossed. There's blood all over the place. I need a fright check at minus three from everyone. Looks like we missed the party. That's not entirely a bad thing. Damn, again, Yorg? Yeah. I usually make those. Okay, so we got though. Infus by four, Soren by one, Yorg failed by one, Copper Tongue failed by three, Kristoff failed by six. All right, well, let's see what uh, happens when you uh, roll in your uh, fright table at that. Remember, I guess Chris off would be at plus six and Copper Tongue's at plus three. I'm kind of able. Hey, you got a new quirk there, Copper Tongue. Yay. So we add, we add our failure to the roll. Yep. Okay. Right check table. Come on, big money. Do something really cool there, Christoph. 16. That sounds <laughs> that's high. Not very, that's not very. Oh, hey. Also acquiring new quirk. Stunned. Yep. So Copper Tongue and Kristoff are going to gain a new quirk. It should probably be related in some capacity to this. Uh, you can figure out uh, how that, how you want to do that. Like uh, maybe you automatically distrust lawyers. No, wait, that's just common sense. Um, well, it's based on what we saw, right? The see, like it could be, blood. yeah, it's something like that, yeah. What would you call a phobia of severed what? heads? Decapitophobia. Not bad. I found the hard as hell to say. As you're like you're looking around, some of you are horribly stunned. Uh, you will hear the clatter of metal on either side of this, you know, like, up there. You're uh, hot micing really badly there, uh, FX. <laughs> um, the sorry, clatter of metal, no worries, uh, from, from the, I guess it'd be north and from south, as two pairs of town watch come uh, charging into the the area to, to see what the hell people who were screaming and running away why they were screaming and run away and they see you standing basically over this hideous mess of bodies and you know torsos and heads and arms and they immediately draw their weapons and they're they're doing the you know uh 
uh, shouting for you to, uh, uh, you know, uh, throw down your arms and surrender. While one of them is going to immediately produce a whistle and start blowing really, really hard on it. Okay, so Queen will hold up her hands and show her axe as being clean. And she'll just yell out, no, clean axe, we were locked in there. We just found them. Yeah, let's all, uh, let's all be nice and compliant right now. Yeah, yeah, it does look possibly bad. Not not that bad. I mean, you you are pretty clean. But and Saren yes. will say, "Whatever it was, went that way," and he'll point in the direction. Okay. So, am I correct in operating on the presumption that everyone is going to participate or cooperate? You're Queen not going to make cooperate. it cooperate. Compliance will be rewarded. Will it though? Will it? Yeah, Emphis isn't going to put up any protestation. All right, Christoph and Soren, what about you guys? I mean, you guys are one of you is a thief and one of you is already branded uh, as a possible thief. I'll die before I go back. Well, Theron doesn't have a criminal record or anything like that, does he? He's got a secret. He's got a secret, but he doesn't actually have a criminal record. Well, if his secret comes out, he'll have a criminal record. <laughs> well, if it's exposed, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so, uh, as long as no one is going to resist. Christoph cries. <laughs> um, okay, so no one is in the plans on being resisting. Uh, you will be arrested. Um, because hey, they don't know what's going on. They're just they're 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 just well, at least they're not you know beating them to the ground. So there there is that. Uh, you will be divested of your weapons and such once they uh, sort of recognize that uh, infant. Well, actually, yeah, I guess they would have they uh, because uh, they're going to find out uh, find infant's uh, apprentice license. Um, they are hmm. going to require him to be gagged and definitely warned. It's like, you know, don't, you know, don't, don't try to cast any spells and, you know, let the cave your bloody head in. I'll say, uh, it's not the first time I've been. That's all right. I'm used to it. And you will be taken to the watch barracks, uh, you know, uh, and as you are, you know, sort of led back out into the uh, the, the, the area uh, or, or the like, you know, the, the main thoroughfare, you definitely see that whatever the hell just happened spread out really. I mean, people were like running. They were causing like, you know, something of an issue, maybe maybe spilled over and turned into like a mini riot. But you'll be taken to the watch barracks, which actually is, I, I got to remind myself where the hell that's at. Uh, main guard barracks, Funf. That is actually pretty far away, actually. It's all the way over here. Oh, yeah. Um, that, uh, what was that? Was that Glimpses of Clarity? I think that was called the quirk level flashbacks. Yeah, I think so. I just don't remember how it uh, necessarily works. Um, so you'll be taken there. Uh, you'll be imprisoned, uh, you know, at least overnight, uh, which is going to be underneath there. Uh, so you'll 
spend a pretty crowded night with a handful of other brawlers um, because, well, there was something of a fight. Um, oddly enough, a large number of the people that are uh, imprisoned look like, almost like carnival types. You, know, you have a couple of white-faced mm-hmm. mimes who are like gesticulating energetically, but you know they're not talking. Um, there, there's like some 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 clowns and some some re- uh, regular people. You've got this uh, little halfling girl who is just. Zoom. Well, I don't want to say girl because she's clearly not a girl, uh, but she looks like you know she's a kid. But she like has this fake beard, and she like immediately latches on the, the copper tongue. And she you know is like you know doing the, oh wow, you're a real dwarf. Uh, am I still gagged? Um, they will remove the gag, uh, but again, they will warn you that any spell casting. Uh, will result in immediate execution. They're oh. clearly not uh, screwing around. <laughs> All right. Well, as soon You're as like, I see the clowns, as soon as I see the clowns, I'll say, hey, Quinny, you're going to fit right in here. <laughs> he said clowns and then regular people. Mm-hmm. Queen will just give him a rude gesture. Yeah, there's Queen even, will... Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Queen will look in admiration at the halfling's beard until she realizes it's fake and then be like, Oh, <laughs> kind of sad. Christoph will look at anybody that's giving him a look or he's like, what the bloody hell are you looking at? Want me to bash your face in? Like, and the and white face just, mime, you know, raises his hands at, you know, like you, it's like, you know, no, don't do that sort of thing, but never says a word. He just glares at anybody. And if anybody gets close to him, he's going to lash out. The mimes are just going to be like, you know, he clearly, Kristoff, is in an invisible box. There's even an old guy uh, who's like everybody, uh, The he's like, uh, for, at first you thought maybe he was actually a mutant because he almost looks like he had a a tentacle for an arm, but then he like you know pulls his arm out of this of the tentacle, and he's just like you know scratches. Uh, he's like, oh, that thing is so damned hot. And then he's like you know secretly he's like, hey, hey, I got some brandy as he like takes a flask from his special mutant arm. Hey, buddy. <laughs> And needless to say, it's an awkward, long evening. It's just like, what the hell just happened? Siren's going to be mostly silent. Just mostly? Doesn't look like you're going to make your uh, dinner tonight there, uh, York. Yeah, I don't think so. I'd... uh... I'd I'd try to talk one of the guards into sending him a message, but uh, I doubt they'll do that. In the late morning, the next morning, which I need to adjust the thingy. Doot, doot. Uh, You will hear a a watchman, you know, calling out uh, names and, you know, well, calling out your names. All right, let's go. You have a date with the court. Excellent. I'm going to move my entire way through this. Oh, hooray. They are absolutely putting putting a gag in on Infus. And you have this really big, grim-looking dude who's, like, wearing, uh, uh, you know, heavy armor and uh, uh, the symbol of Sigmar. And he's like, you know, sitting there just straight up glaring at, at Emphis. And he's just like, you know, patting his hammer like he, he's wanting you to uh, to mouth off to him. Oh, Emphis, your boyfriend's here. 
Um, the lot of you will uh, be clad in manacles uh, as you are escorted outside. There is a nice barred wagon uh, that, that's waiting for everybody. Like, you know, get in. I was expecting a coach. Yeah, we know who you I... are wearing. This looks like this feels like a deja vu moment for Christoph. Yeah, he probably doesn't like it at all, does he? Crap! Now I have to remember the uh, the, the name that uh, they'd given. Where was that guy's name? How thoroughly were we searched? What are you trying to uh, trying to possibly conceal? Lockpicks. Well, you you can try. All right. So that means I. What is it I use? Is it search. Search. I don't search. know. I don't know what the bulk of lockpicks would be. So. Probably zero, Probably I would imagine. imagine. Yeah, I would think zero. Well, it could actually right, be so pluses. You succeeded by one, and I succeeded by one. Um, so, defend who wins. It's a quick contest. Actually... That one probably a requires contest. a winner. Hold out 200. La la la. Da, da, da. One lockpick, a huge jewel, a. Okay. A set of lockpicks is plus one, actually. Yeah. So that means you won. Plus one to what? The skill? Plus one to the holdout. Okay, um, so you're going to be aware that you probably still have them. Although Ooh. they are keeping a pretty close eye on, on, on the lot of you. Ah, okay. It says uh, to spot a concealed item, roll a quick contest of search skill versus holdout. So if he did not win that contest, then he failed to spot it. Yep. So there's a uh, low line fog that's you know drifting over the streets, slightly muffles the sound as uh, your uh, as the the wagon sort of rolls through the gotten plots, uh, and into the Drek plots where you are led into the town courts. The walls are elaborately uh, decorated with uh, banners uh, denoting the von Sepanov. Saponathime uh, coat of arms. That's the uh, the Graf who's in charge of the uh, the duchy, uh, as well as Bogenhofen's um, symbol. Um, there is an elaborately robed drudge, judge, meh, drudge, a judge. Uh, where is that at? That is the, there. Uh, who is, even though the, the image doesn't show it because it refused to show it, is draped in black and red. Uh, and he's also got the long white wig that uh, British judges wear, which I cannot get my uh, AI to uh, generate for in, in any reason, for any way, any reason. He has maybe, there's a, maybe there's a proper name for it. I, I I'm not sure what it is, but you you know what I mean, right? That uh, those, yeah. those weird yeah. Do mm. they do they use them down under you know in the uh, underworld? I think only in the like Supreme Court, but it's generally okay. you don't, well, don't generally they, see it. I don't think they wore wigs like that uh, in the medieval period anyway, or even the Renaissance, this... because they wore wigs like that normally. Doesn't matter. They also didn't have spells and shoot stuff. Uh, hmm. He has a small pair of spectacles that uh, he, he, you know, but it's like on a stick. He'll occasionally lift it up and use them to, to read something. 
uh, and he's like uh, looking, uh, you know, looking kind of bored as as you come in and kind of tired. And he's like uh, immediately, you know, glances at the clerk. He's like, uh, "Are these the accused?" And the clerk reads uh, the the names that you have given them. Uh, I don't know if you have given them your your official names um, for for some of you, like you know Kristoff or Soren. And you know, they will, he will pause each time he reads off a name to uh, 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 for somebody to you know go. Oh, yep, that's me. And satisfied, eventually satisfied, he will nod to the the judge. He's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Read the charges. The clerk clears his throat and then intones, uh, you stand accused of destruction of private property, disruption, disruption of commerce, inciting a riot, contributing to general lawlessness, and murder most foul. And the, the magistrate is like, uh, well, how do you plead? Not guilty. Not guilty. Innocent. Not bloody hell guilty. And just as you know, you guys sort of finished this, a Again, a uh, black robed woman in the same kind of wig, you know, enters and she's like, say nothing else. He's like, uh, your pardon, your pardon, your honor, but I need a brief recess to consult with my clients before they say anything they'll regret. And the, uh, the, the magistrate looks from, uh, from her to you guys and is like, these really? It's like, all right. And he like, he'll, pounds the gavel and he's like we shall have a short recess and she is going to uh, point to uh, a lot of you and say all right follow me please and you know uh, you know there 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 are some guards that are obviously coming with but as soon as uh, as soon as you and it's like you know clearly like a a meeting room of some sort. Uh, and she's like, no, 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 not you to the, the, the guards is like outside. You can stand outside. You cannot be inside. They, they look a little uh, grumpy, but they, they, they obey. And she shuts the door and she's like, well, seems we're kind of in a spot of trouble. Huh? And then promptly identify our, our oh, herself. she's like, uh, my name is Asana Santa Oh, okay. What were you thinking? Not what I was thinking. I figured it was going to be that chick that we ran into outside of what's it town with the the goblins. Oh yeah, no, that would have been funny. She's cute. What's it town? What's it town? What's it town with the goblins? What chick? Gaspar. Gaspar. Oh, Gaspar. oh, damn! I wish I had thought of that. Like, whoa! Uh, she like uh, looks at the scroll. And she's like, um. I have to ask, who did you anger? They're trying to lay the whole of this riot that happened at your feet. There was a riot? Oh, they didn't tell you that part. Um, yeah, there there was a riot. Apparently, there was a bunch of bodies that were discovered that were torn apart. And according to these charges, she says, as she looks down to the uh, thing, uh, it says, you started the brawl, you attacked some soldiers, you near ransacked the town, and oh dear, you killed Faustin the Fiery. The children will never forgive you for that one. Wow, that's what we get. We were very active for office. somebody that just walked out of a door. Huh. Well, um, interesting. Although, in very... full honesty, we did hack the door down. Yeah. Only because I, we were in. The I so, hacked the door down. The queen will so just that, the, the, des the destruction of private property is 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 valid. They locked us in. Yeah, we were we were uh, incarcerated unlawfully. And awfully. Yes, well, we've identified one of the uh the one of the dead uh, that was outside. Well, 
we identified his head. One of the uh, the guards recognized him as uh, as a bounty hunter, mostly out of Altdorf. And I'm feverishly scrolling for something to find uh, what his name is again. Something German That's, sounding. Well, it's going to be Adolphus, but I just don't remember what his last name is. Langren. Kuftsos. Adolphus. Uh, so is there any, any reason why... Uh, you may have a bounty hunter chasing after you. Not that we could think of. It also does kind of occur to, uh, well, frankly, all of the PCs that barristers or lawyers are generally really expensive, and usually uh -huh. they 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 only uh, they're they're only uh, used by well the wealthy. Yeah, we're going to get to that question in a bit. Okay. Well, yeah, you can chime you can chime well, in and start asking any uh any questions you want to uh, to know straight away. Should we So, uh, the unless whole story? somebody cuts him off. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to ask should we just go ahead and lay out the whole story like how we wound up there? You should um you should roll honesty to see if you have a, a Goonies chunk moment. Yes, yes, I should. Uh, Started in fifth grade. No, nope. she. Uh, she is good. Keeps her cool. Um, so Jurg is is going to uh, say so. The uh, you found how many bodies mutilated horribly. Torn to shreds, probably by hand. Five to seven. And it's not we entirely had, clear. And we had no blood on us, and our weapons were not soiled. Yes. Okay. I I think those two probably don't fit together. Not to mention that some of us soiled ourselves when we saw them. You bodies. haven't been involved in very many uh, court cases, have you, uh, Master Yang? Just the one. Ah, yes. Well, regardless, uh, there's difficult times here in Bogenhofen. Uh, justice is often denied. Um, I, I do what I can to uh, ensure that the scales are a little bit more balanced. Um, but it definitely uh, looks to me like you are uh, being set up for something. That's twice in one day. So uh, I mean, it's like, yeah, go ahead. Speaking of doing what you can, why are you? Why am I what are doing you? what you can here? Ah, well, uh, eh. Are you an, a barrister or are you a plant? A plant. I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, are you here to just get information to further the cause of the, uh, the Crown's case against us. I am absolutely a barrister. I have something of a reputation for taking on lost causes. I, I really don't like the sound of that. No, no, it seems like they have gone and manufactured a number of uh, witnesses to, you know, comp you know or claim that you you were involved uh and i'm huh this is this is very ugly you have some sort of enemy somewhere and let's see you have oh there it is uh i must be honest um there is 
very little hope of being found wholly innocent uh, if you plead not guilty. Uh, even though, you know, as as you pointed out, that, uh, well, you weren't covered in blood and your weapons were unclear because they have several members of the Watch who have officially declared otherwise. Uh, rather, I will suggest a no contest plea, admitting neither guilt nor claiming total innocence, that we will hotly deny killing anyone since there are no actual eyewitnesses there. Generally, uh, heavy fees, hard labor in the Gray Mountains would be a minimum, but I have some sway with, uh, with the court, and I know they have been requested to support the watch in these uh, trying times, especially with the Schaffenfest coming up. And some of you, and she's going to nod to uh, Jorg, and it's like, some of you have at least a decent enough reputation. I may be able to convince them to effectively assign you to serve as, well, temporary members of, of the Watch for a period of time. And the Watch would be okay with that? Have you met the watch? It's mostly comprised of the very worst soldiers from Bogenhofen State Army, aided by fools, idiots. I'm certain you'll be able to fit right in. Given your <laughs> martial leanings, of course. Wait a sec. All right, so we have to plead guilty and nope, we're gonna nope, serve nope, in the watch. No contest. Yes. Uh, so I will. I will need to speak with the uh, the judge before uh, before. Um, and quick pause. Uh, this is uh, something I forgot that the many of the players are possibly going to be unprepared for. Uh, with regards to how courts work, they do not work anything like um, American courts. Uh, basically, you have, I think it's called an antagonistic court or antagonistic trial, something like that. Uh, and it's like there is no presumption of innocence beforehand. It's uh, the basically the judge will act as like the prosecuting attorney. Uh, so he will get there and he will start asking questions and uh, such like that. So... Pretty common, actually, in other places in Europe. It's just so darn foreign to uh, to most of us that it's like that's super weird. Um, but yeah. anybody who has like you know body language or anything like that and is you know like super sus of uh, barrister uh, Winandis, you are. Perfectly fine to make any checks. The queen will just ask. The queen doesn't have anything that would help with this, but she will just ask. You said you're expensive, so who's paying for you? She's going to you know, smile and she's going to say interested parties. Like, uh, uh -huh. your, your, your benefactors uh, prefer to remain anonymous at this time, but if I, can, if I can get you out of this mess, which I'm fairly positive, I, or, or fairly uh, fairly sure I can, uh, donations of the Cult of Verena would not go amiss. Anybody have detect lies? Soren does at an 11. Mm, and oh, no. it looks like... No, I love wait, body language. Body Soren will say, I don't get it. We have mystery benefactors and mystery enemies. What the fuck is going on here? That's a really good question. I would love to find out. Maybe we can use you to find out. Saren will try sex appeal for a good reaction. This is probably not the time for that, but you can try, I suppose. He's not trying to, like, you know, hit on it. He's just trying to be charming. That's not how that works. Well, clearly, he failed the role. 
uh, I think attractive gives plus two to the opposite sex. One. I thought it was plus one to your the same sex, plus two to the opposite. Uh, no, that doesn't start kicking in until uh, the next level up. Apply any bonus for above average appearance or double the penalty for below. Okay, so that is going to fail. Wait a sec, did I have luck? No, I don't have luck. I think Copper Tongue is the only one that has luck right now. So that will be an automatic bad reaction then. So her smile is definitely going to go away. Saren will shrug. Ignore him. Um, yeah, so uh yeah, she's she will point out that uh the the big problem is these murders, uh or you know, whatever. Uh clearly someone is wanting to blame one or all of you. I am not sure uh which yet. Definitely gonna be trying to look into that. And if you are held responsible for the murders, um, you will be you will be executed. It's it's that simple. Uh, but if you manage to somehow talk your way out of that, uh, not that the court will even bother to listen or give you a chance to explain, uh, but are still found guilty, uh, the other charges at the very least, they will probably send you to the penal quarry in the foothills of the Gray Mountains, which is very very. Very bad. Not a nice place. Prisoners there are frequently killed by raiding greenskins before their sentences are even finished. But as I said, I I am fairly certain I can uh, I can sway uh, sway uh, Magistrate Richter uh, in into this uh, this direction. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a little suspicious of the. Uh, of the, the charges uh, to begin with. Is this perhaps an elaborate plan of your benefactors to frame us initially so that they can come along and free us and then we're in the pocket of, of those people that are Paying your bills. That seems awfully convoluted. Yeah, and but I don't. Wouldn't tell her that. I don't have any other explanation for why nobodies like us um, are in the shit that we are. It's because they're you're nobodies like you. Wait a second. We're heroes. Big damn heroes. Just ask Soren. Well, yeah, we are that, but still We're not that big. Someone's paying for this really expensive and I do and I might say very attractive um person here to help us out. Already shot your shot, dude. Um, just seems yeah. really odd. It is. It is very odd. This the whole, uh, all of the evidence is odd. All right. Well, we're clearly pawns in this chess match. Let's see where we're pushed around. Yeah, I don't see there's a whole lot we can do. We don't exactly have a lot of connections here. All right. Well, if I have uh, you know, all of your agreement, I will uh, step out of here and go speak with the, the judge privately. The guards will, uh, you know, keep you here until uh, we're done with that. Could we get some ale in here? 
by any chance. You're still prisoners. You'll be lucky if they give you water. Yurk is going to start getting a little twitchy here in a while. Eh. Well, you had at least a little bit of the brandy before the, the dude realized that you might drink it all and stopped offering you any. So she will, uh, uh, she will excuse, you know, knock on the door and inform the, uh, the, the guards that she needs to, uh, speak to the judge and that you, uh, the, the PCs need to remain here until she is done. And they, they, they get all glowery and all that jazz, but they, they, they don't contest her. And she's like, I will be back shortly. And then you are left sitting in the room going, how the hell did this get here? So I'll be looking at the lock and sort of wondering, you know, if I pick the lock here, what's the next step to, to escape this place? Fight Get the guards. past, the, uh, past the, the two large guards standing out there. Then you know, the hopefully guards. you can do that before the other guards are summoned. Are these guards so, like sleeping, you know, not noticing shit? Are, in our, the morning, are our weapons nearby? Probably not. Your weapons and stuff is probably at the uh, northern barracks where uh, you are, not northern barracks, but the main barracks where you were incarcerated. Well, are there other weapons besides the guards' weapons? The courthouse. Did they, uh, what, what was the list of charges? Did they have a, a cult thing on there? Did they mention chaos? They did not. Um, yeah. uh, the official charges were uh, destruction of private property, uh, disruption of commerce, inciting a riot, contributing to general lawlessness, and murder most foul. So they don't know anything about the, the purple people purple people. <laughs> I wonder if that was a purple people either that attacked everyone outside. Mm. Um, okay, so uh, is there any plans to do uh, something that is probably uh, dangerous and uh, potentially super risky, or are you waiting for the pretty lawyer to come back? Queen's just gonna wait. Yeah, I feel we're being set up to do something for for someone. That seems pretty obvious. But oh, and I'll dear. sort of a leading leaning very close to uh, to everyone I'll see. I do have a way for us to get out of here. So Enfys was, uh, was going to pound on the door. I Get me out of here! I gotta get out of here! Get me out of here! For God's sakes, get me out of here! I don't belong here! I'm not with these people! Get me out of here! And then I'll look back at everybody and just kind of shrug. <laughs> Did Sorry, it work? Give it a good effort. You will see I didn't think the, that was gonna work. the little... The, the slidey thing up there, uh, I don't know what it, that, that's called, the, like almost a peephole, where it's like it's going to slide uh, slide open briefly, guy's going to glance, and then he's going to slide it back, and they're going to go back to ignoring you. Oh, sitting around, sitting around, sitting around. Sorry. Can you pick a lock? Can we get out of here? Do you want me to burn the place down? Let me burn the place down. Well, I was just about to say, I uh, I managed to get my lockpicks in, so we can maybe get out of here. I don't think you've thought that through all the way. Um, Christoph mentioned that he can make it so that they cannot hear, and, or that he may or may not be able to do that. 
Are you able to do that? I thought you got rid of some of those. I kept uh, just the four spells that were part of the character sheet. I Silence am being one double of them. checking something. Uh, yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to get. <laughs> I would have failed. So he starts well, fiddling around with it. As as people are are messing around with potential solutions, York will uh, remind everyone that fighting or attempting to escape or arguing loudly and impolitely, all of those things will just be taken as a sign of guilt. Well, they're going to assume we're guilty anyway. Maybe they won't, but uh, if you don't give them that, I don't, don't, uh, don't make it a certainty. Well, while you guys are huddled together, you know, discussing, figuring, uh, you know, trying to, so I guess, almost arguing, um, a bit of time will pass and the barrister will return. Uh, you know, she will approach, you know, the, the door will, uh, you will hear the, the, the locks on the, the door and will open up. And uh, she's like, uh, all right, um, come with me, please. And uh, the, 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 the four guards that are outside now, instead of the two, uh, you know, are, you know, glaring pretty heavily at you. One of them tosses the, uh, uh, the, the, the thing to, uh, uh, I don't want to say gimp mask because that's not right. The, uh, the thing to, uh, Enfys, gag. to, uh, gag, there. Yeah. It's like, Bleh. there's a word. It's a really simple word. Like tosses the, the, the gag to, uh, to Enfys and. I like gimp master. Out. Is that you know the, the 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 sex ball thing, sex gag? Put it on. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. Dig yourself deeper. Yep. Put it on. I look at him and say, "You make me." They come in and they make you, and it hurts, and you're really bruised. <laughs> I instantly regret saying it. <laughs> The uh, uh, you are escorted back to the uh, the the courthouse. Uh, not the courthouse, but the courtroom. Um, you're going to have to wait because he's uh, the magistrate is listening to another uh, you know quick uh, or another one, and it's some guy that has apparently uh, killed another dude. And the the evidence is eh, average. I, I suppose, um, but uh, he's like, "Yep, all right, sorry. This is this is the third time you you've come before me. So uh, you now have a date with the gallows, and you know that guy is let off. You know, struggling, going, no, no, I I didn't do it. And if I did do it, he deserved it. And then uh, uh, you know you are eventually brought forward, and the uh, Barrister will, uh, you know, uh, Osana will, uh, she's like, um, we are changing that to uh, no contact. We are not, no longer directly contesting the charges, but we uh, will note that none of these people started a fight and they absolutely unquestionably did not kill Foster and the fiery clown. Nor were they responsible for the, the, the deaths. And there is a bit of back and forth, uh, and the, the judge is going to uh, consult each of the PCs with a uh, quick question. Um, to Kristoff, he is going to state that uh, you already bear a thieves mark on your hand. So by imperial law, this means you are already a criminal. 
And do you know what the penalties are for a second crime? And how does Christoph respond to this? Quietly? Is he muted? Sorry, I just had a lot of uh, background noise going on. I didn't want to unmute. Gotcha. But uh, um, he's just like, he's like, basically, you know, he's just mouths off some smart ass remark, you know, probably going to kill me or something like that. But then he says, but I, you know, I'm not guilty of a second crime. You know, I'm being framed. We are being framed. Uh, to Enfys, he will ask, uh, are you aware of the penalties for the misuse of magic wizard? It is difficult to cast spells without a tongue, I'm told. And the witch hunters would love to have one of your kind to burn. Yeah, I'm aware. But who saw me cast a spell? That's what I want to know. Wow. Everybody's super aggressive and, you know, he's snarky. Uh, to Yorg, he will say, uh, I am surprised to see you again, Master Lang. There are many who still blame you for the death of Master Von Opfern and thought your previous sentence too light, too lenient. How exactly does this action serve your oath to die gloriously in Sigmar's name? You're referring to the incident here. Uh, it would further no, no goals at all. Mm. Uh, to Coppertong, he's going to say, it's like, you know, I'm not familiar with you, Mistress Coppertong. How is it that you became involved in such madness? And I am going to ask uh, Mel to make an honesty check. Because I think it would be funny if she just like, well, that's a long story. All right, success by four, so you don't have to tell anything you don't want to tell. So Queen will basically give the high level like of how we all met that we were i don't i don't remember the thing but we were part of the group that was we we're in a war or something it's it's been more than a week so i don't remember but she'll give like just the brief backstory of how About we either. met and Carl's bag. yeah and we you know did that and this and this and we killed lots of green skins and turned in ears and we've been you know we've been We're doing totally good things awesome. All so right. She'll she'll give the high level, but not really go into details. Okay. Uh, to Soren, uh, he will say, "You are from Bogenhofen, are you not, Master Roth? I think I've heard your name in passing. Yes, something in regards to Majos Blitzen, I believe. And regardless, uh, tell me, uh, why were you there, and what role did you have in murdering those men?" Look to the uh, our counselor. Well, no contest. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just that strikes me as funny. Um, so he will uh, ask a couple more questions. Uh, the the barrister is going to uh, end up answering uh, most of them, or more frequently, you know, jumping in and go, no, 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 that you know, uh, that that's not uh, where we're contesting that, or where we're not contesting that, and such like that. Uh, and then he's gonna wave her forward, and she goes up there, and they have a quick uh discussion he does seem kind of intense like you know he's he's asking her some things that she's not answering to his satisfaction uh but uh uh finally he's like uh he addresses the court itself he's like uh the law in this case is quite clear the guilty must be punished and that punishment is death and then he holds up the uh 
some some documents. It's like, however, the evidence against these gathered here is scant, and it seems unlikely that they were responsible for the riot, considering they had already been taken under arms by the time it started. And as he says this, he's like giving a uh, sort of a glare in the direction of some of the uh, some of the the watch guys. It's like at best they could be charged with disruption of commerce and contributing to general lawlessness. Uh, did this is a question from the GM to did any of you mention to her or uh, the stuff about the 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 scheme with you know lock stock borrow? No. Here, you... no, we we figure there's oh. enough crimes being pinned on us. Okay. Um, Although to be fair, that would just be the crime of being stupid. Uh, so it is a little disconcerting when he continues. He's like, an intent to defraud lawyers who do not exist is troubling, but no crime. And, you know, then you realize that one of the documents that he's holding up is the the, the letter. Uh, and you're like, oh, yeah, they did take all your stuff. However, we also commend them on not bothering to waste the court's time on frivolous protestations of innocence. Thus, we are inclined to be merciful. After careful review of the evidence and circumstances surrounding this case, it is my view that those who had a hand in disrupting the peace of our fair town should also have a hand in restoring it. I sentence you all to supervise duty on the watch in order that you may work off your debt to Bogenhofen. This duty will commence tomorrow for a period not to exceed a year and a day. Failure to carry out your new duties shall be looked on or looked at as treason to the empire and is punishable by death. In Verena's name, I so rule. Your case is concluded. And then he like bangs uh bangs his gavel and you know clearly wants everybody to leave. Osana is like she sort of turns, she's like, Well, and Grin's like, Yeah, that's that that, that could have been better, could have been worse. A year and a day is not that bad. Mentally preferable to a noose. Do we get our I'm, stuff well, back? Well, you'll have to talk that over with the uh, with the, the captain that they they assign. Uh, besides, give me a give me some time. I may be able to work uh, an alternative to this later date. Maybe get you uh, out for a uh, you know in less time. Well, at least we. Uh didn't sign any pledges of things we had to do. Well, I guess some thanks to our secret benefactors is in order. Who was it we were supposed to make a donation to? Oh, uh, for her, uh, Verena. V-word. Do we know who that is? That's a goddess. Human goddess. There's it a is... there's a temple district here. They have all the temples there. It's easy to find them. Actually, Queen several of the, several of the PCs were hanging out there. They were doing research. Uh, goddess of wisdom. Uh, she is the goddess of learning and justice. Um. Okay. So the. Uh, the, the PCs will be escorted back to the uh, to the, the barracks uh, by some of the, the the guards who are you know at least no longer got you uh, 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 manacled or anything like that and they seem the confused like that's not what they were expecting to happen. Um, at the, uh, at the barracks, um, uh, you'll be like, you know, sort of loitering around, you know, standing around waiting. And, um, one of the, the, the guys is going to gesture for you to follow him, uh, to a, uh, uh, there's like an, an office and I think Yorg might be the only one that can't read maybe, um, 
But for those of you who can read, uh, we'll be able to see the. Uh, it, it's just got like a captain on the, uh, on, on on the door, um, and a guy knocks on it, and you hear uh, he's like, you know, come in. And there is a man, uh, uh, not stand. Or he's he, it's it's a it's an office. Uh, he's not sitting behind the desk or anything, but he's like leaning back against it as he like you know stands in front of it. And he, you know when you when you enter, and he's got that expression of of like uh, I want to be anywhere but here uh, kind of expression. His uniform is clearly made of very superior uh, superior materials, and if I could get my AI thing to generate a proper mustache, he would have one of those mustaches that like go out. Uh, oh crap! You know, it goes out past his uh, past his face. The really long, thin ones that are like you know twirled. Oh, that one. Okay, not where I thought you were going with that. Um, did you enter, uh, you know, so he just, you know, everything about this guy screams, uh, highborn. He's, uh, as you enter, he's like, you know, I am Captain Retner, uh, uh Rainer of House Gotrin. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having word issues. Of House Gortrin. And it is my duty to accept you into the Reichland 99th Regiment of Foot, though most of us simply think of us as the Bogenhofen Town Watch. He he pauses and he's like, you know, looking over uh, each of you, and he's like, uh, "We live in strange times." I ask for watchmen, and I get you. You may notice my troops' morale is ro- low, but that is no surprise. They are the worst, lowest scum of Bogenhofen, given uniforms. They think they're too good for this posty, and and resent every single moment of it. And you know he's like, uh, uh, clump and clug, get in here. And a, another dude enters. Uh, this guy looks well. He's definitely a bit wide. Uh, he his, his uniform is a little not great. Oh yeah, and it's uh totally they're they're totally wearing those uh the the, the guard uniforms, including the the, the cool hats except not inside. Um, but uh, Clump, and, Clump and Clug, uh, he, uh, he definitely has that, that look of uh, not quite as clean as, as he probably could slash should be. Um, the captain goes, uh, this, uh, crap, where is it? Hold on, I lost my place. He's like, this is Sergeant Clump and Clug. He will be in charge of you during your time with the watch. His account of your behavior is what keeps you from being executed for dereliction of duty. I suggest you stay in his good graces. I am not a fool. Do not treat me as one, and we shall get along well. Do as the sergeant tells you. Do not embarrass the watch. And be wary. Bogenhofen is full of mischief of late. May Sigmar watch out for you, if you are worthy. Dismissed. And Clump and Clug, you know, just sort of gives him a Nowhere near as effective looking salute that uh, Jorg uh, presented. His it is kind of sloppy, but, uh, you know, he's like, you know, exits and gestures for you to follow him. Okay, well, we follow. Sergeant? Yeah. Call me Rudy. Tell me Sergeant when others and like sort of gestures his head towards uh, the, the captain's office like only sergeant with others are around eh you'll be wanting your gear back i'm guessing yeah we'll sort Hi. you out with some uh with some watch livery armbands at the least awesome and some of that a... some of that gear is valuable and has sentimental value we took it from fat Falsberg when we killed that son of a bitch Oh, that sounds like a tale I'd like to hear. Uh, but not here. Best not to talk uh, too much here. There's ears about uh, I don't fancy, eh? 
meet me tonight, uh, just before sundown at the raspy Raven out back. Then we'll have a bit of a chat and sort out your new duties. Understood. Hey, Sarge, what can I possibly uh, assist with as a wizard? Wizard? Hmm. We haven't had a wizard on staff before. This will be interesting. Can you turn people into newts? Can you turn people into newts? Well, do I have lawful authority to cast spells as a watch person? Are you... Don't you... Oh, you're... So you're not a proper wizard. You're you're uh, a pretend wizard. I'm an apprentice, thank you very much. Oh. Uh, well. Huh. I'm going to have to find out. Damn it. Did they did they confiscate Infus's what what is it his certification or whatever it is? Probably. Yeah, yeah, but he he pro uh, uh company like probably didn't read all that. But that you know that the, all of the the stuff will is going to be uh you know you'll be able to re retrieve your gear. They like like I said, they will at least provide you know like you know the the hat and the the tabard to be worn over the uh, the current stuff. Uh, so you'll be a uh, you know right groovy uh, uh, guardsman. So you will have a couple of hours to figure out what uh, what your your next step is before you uh, 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 are expected to be at the, the, the tavern uh, or uh, the raspy raven. So was, it's entirely up to, to you whether you work. like, yeah, so it's like it's entirely up to you whether you're like, yeah, we, we can do that or you go, screw this, let's let's flee the town and, you know, not tell anybody. Now, as far as Yerk's concerned, he didn't have anything better to do, so yeah, why not? He might have signed up for that voluntarily if somebody had asked him. <laughs> Noted. Eh. Queen, stick with with your. Um, CERN is. Be some greens. CERN's going to automatically fail. He's curious. He's going to say, "We were set up for a reason. I'm keen to find out what that reason is." Well, if we hang around, maybe we. Maybe we will. On the other hand, if we hang around, we might be horribly murdered. So there's that. But you'll have a, you'll die with a really cool hat. We'll die with a cool hat. Okay. So in the two hours that we have, the queen's uh -huh. actually going to uh, tell the great so I'm going to go check out this marina thing, and she's going to start heading towards the temple just to go see if she can figure out what this Verena is about. She doesn't know anything about human deities. Or okay. are those widely known actually? Yeah, they're they're they are, you know, it's the, the, the Empire. It's uh I mean Sigmar is the most commonly uh, commonly known, but uh Verena has been around since well before before Sigmar. Well I mean are they Imperial gods, or are they just the gods? Old world pantheon, yeah. Well, uh, the elves have their own elves have their own gods, and uh, the okay. dwarfs have uh, ancestor spirits, which are basically gods. Okay. Uh, Yorg needs to. So attempt to contact Ludo and tell him that uh, he was unfortunately incarcerated. And uh, but uh, good news, he'll be around for a while. And uh, and then he's got to. I guess visiting the family is going to have to wait until after the shift. Um. Okay. Uh. Well. Ludoff will make the well. Actually, it'll be it'll depend on whether uh, he's available. Uh, he can see. he can leave a message with uh, with his servant or whatever. Yeah, he's probably in a meeting or something like that. 
Uh, but uh, okay. Uh, and that, that, that's that's fine. Um, how about Enfys? Is there anything he's planning on doing in the couple of hours? <laughs> no, he's just going to consider the boring life he's going to be leading for the next little while. Wow, that was dumb. I pasted some. That is a link to that I, that I put in there. That's a link to uh, the wiki, our wiki, that has information on Verena. Goddess of oh. knowledge, science, learning, wisdom, law, and justice. Let's see. Said to be married to the god of death, Moor, and uh, the parents of Myrmidia and Shalia, the deities of warfare and mercy, respectively. Um, okay, what about Kristoff? Uh, Is there anything that uh, he has... The uh, crazy plant or anything like that uh, in the, the for the before the two hours. I don't. So there's not much that he can do. Okay. All right. So uh, fast forward a couple hours. Uh, the raspy raven turns out to be a small tavern. It is not an inn. It's just a tavern. It's just for drinking. Um, it's far enough away from the bogan to be a bit more respectable than the uh, drinking establishments lining the docks. There are several large alcoves which uh, provide privacy. The, the air itself is, you know, pretty smoky. Uh, there are a um, handful of people that are uh, quite present uh, or present that are like, you know, get in there, uh, you know, already getting drunk. Uh, Clump and Clug, when he, uh, he arrives, he's like, uh, all right, uh, so... I need to cover uh, a couple of things really quickly. Uh, one, well, most importantly, there's two Bogenhoffens, you see. There, there's the one you know, the, the day one, and another one entirely in the night. The merchant houses do their best to keep the shadows quiet, but as long as their coffers stay full, they don't really care what else happens. Graf himself, he barely visits, unless taxes are late, and then he comes in force. And all sorts of things have stirred up lately. Uh, folks up and vanishing, moving on elsewhere, or down the bogan, as we like to say. Uh, meaning not breathing uh, as, as they go, eh? Now it's our job to look after the shoddy side of Bogenhofen. Not the pit, thanks, Sigmar. Uh, and we won't be uh, patrolling the Edel Ring. Oh, no. That's not for the likes of us. Houses have their own security there. Uh, plus only... Damned fool would get stuck between feuding merchant houses. Nah, it's the docks and the dregs for us. Wherever you're at, keep a sharp eye out. Be wary of large groups of alt dwarfers down from the capital. They're always trouble. Uh, I'll patrol with you for a bit, show you the duties and such. But ultimately, we're just there to try to keep everybody from stabbing us in the back. Duties will be different. Uh, we're, we're probably going to be uh, uh, the the way that they have been rotating this now is uh, where the hell did I make that note? Uh, damn it! Hold on, I got to find. I have a note about the the the, rota, the duty rotations. It's like uh, you're going to be uh, on on watch for like three day uh three days and then like uh you have like a day off and then you'll be on watch uh for three nights and, and such like that i just don't recall where the hell i put that note i'm gonna have to find it again so i, I may have to there may be a minor uh minor retcon later once i uh once i do that once i find it again uh but i'm not gonna waste that much time uh, uh, looking for it. So uh, he's like, uh, oh, duh. It's a, there was a day you'd be either day or night patrol. Not anymore. Three by day and then three by night. And then we, ro we keep rotating. So his question, uh, the, the question that uh, uh, the first thing he wants to know is like, uh, do you have any questions?
also he's going to find out your the the answer to Infus's question about the wizarding. Probably, maybe, or he'll forget and you'll get executed for breaking the law. So what's the likelihood any of the other PCs have actually served on the watch? Uh, as far as I know, none of the PCs have served on the watch. Ever. I mean, I'd honestly be surprised if York didn't serve in the militia somehow. Uh, well, at least like in his I, early years, but uh, like, like I, don't I know said, about anybody else. Uh, uh, or identified. Technically, the the watch is the 99th Regiment of Foot um, of, of Bogenhofen, but or the Reichland 99th Regiment of Foot, uh, which is, but they just use them as town watch. I don't mean here. I mean in general. Right. So. Obviously, Saren would have had to have been here. So what sort of authority do we have? And are there any individuals or organizations that are and CERN will sort of do the air quotes that are uh, untouchable? Don't mess with the, uh, the the merchant houses. But as as to authority, well, it depends on whatever cat we're we're the watch, damn it. So people should respect our authority? Something like that. Yeah, I know the, the real town watches, well, they're organized a little differently, but uh, generally speaking, they basically were just watching for fires and uh, occasionally uh, there's usually a curfew, so they enforce the curfew. And yep. basically anybody they catch out, they take them off to wherever they're holding them. Yeah. Ultimately, it's going to be a patrols, uh, mostly uh, near the docks. So you're going to be expected to look for look for fires and stop any, well, stop some fights. Maybe, uh, you know, catch some thieves. Stay in about... town, watch stuff. What about, and Sern's going to be looking at his uh, body language when he says this, what about taking bribes and stuff? Okay. What's the rules with that? I'm waiting to see the, uh, the the body language roll in the in the skull. Oh, we would net you know, No, there's no guards uh, town watch that would ever do anything like that. We're all upright and honest men and women, I suppose. And. Do I sense like sarcasm in his his body language? You you don't even that's it. Yeah, yeah. There's no way you don't. Oh, of course. We're all upstanding, law-abiding citizens. Why would we accept so bribes? So if somebody tries to bribe you, you confiscate that money. Like, I think you'll do fine and how you uh, raise the uh, raise the, uh, the, 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 the the ale and start to drink it. And I think that is exactly where we were going to end, end with everybody drinking their mediocre ale. This is definitely not the best ale you've had. I've had a lot of ale. So we got all our stuff back. You did get all your stuff. Uh, you do not have the letter or the other thing. It looks like that may have uh, got taken into the into the uh, court. But otherwise, yeah, you have uh, all that other stuff. What about the signet ring? That was not. 
I mean, that was in your 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 gear. And our money. There may be a little less money uh, involved, and I may be adjusting your current uh, stuff after mm. the game. But for the most part, it's 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 mostly there. Mostly. Partially. And, and we also have back. lodgings at the barracks, right? Yep. Queen quietly sees about her purse being a little lighter. Yep. They had to find out who did it and beat them to death with a stick. Cern sure turn, won't know. Cern turns to the rest of the group. Count all that. Cern will turn to the rest of the group and he'll say, uh, well, this turned out pretty good for us, didn't it? And we're oh. back. We fade to black. Cue the music. Roll the credits. If you're watching or listening to this and you have comments, questions, complaints, or general heckling, feel, le feel free to leave a comment here or find us at Discord. Please consider liking and subscribing to our YouTube and Twitch channels, or don't. I am not your dad. Anyway, thank you for watching. Olympus out. Bye. Bye. See ya.